Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome back to the bar. You might not be able to notice what the theme of tonight's stream is because I've got a very, very tall boy right here on my right-hand side and two beautiful ladies on my <laughs> oh left-hand side. We're joined today with some community folks here at the bar. It's not just me. I'm not alone. I'm not a loner. Hi. And this guy's really tall, so we had to adjust the angle a little bit, and I just realized how small I look with all this space above me. Can I, can I stand up again? Yes, yeah, stand. We specifically adjusted the angle just for Well, you. no, I was making sure the... People at home could read what's behind me because I'm blocking it. Okay, perfectly. so for those who may not know what tonight's stream is, if you're on Twitch, you can read, I hope. If not, then it's okay. <laughs> this is a bottle of Carolina Reaper vodka. This is what started it all, I say. So I had a lovely friend the other day, namely Kirsten over here, aka the corrupted Jasper. I can't like read six voice rule. It's yep, okay. That makes sense. So long it's as you have audio life. on, we will provide the most relaxing ASMR bar stream that you've ever encountered. Make sure to turn your volume down because shit gets loud and we forget what we do within <laughs> the first five minutes. But so Kirsten over here reached out to me over the holiday break and was like, Carolina Reaper vodka? And I was like, Carolina Reaper vodka? And she was like, Carolina Reaper vodka. And I was like, I need to try that. We have to try that. And I was like, wait a minute, no, no, no. I can't just, I cannot just do this on my, on my own. I have to make sure that everybody suffers with me. Oh, and so I brought everybody else over here. Glenn, me. scooch over just a little bit more if you can. We're gonna squeeze Sorry. everybody in here. Yes, and it also Dang. pairs really oh, well. Absolutely. Tendencies. It's my fault because in, in speaking with all honesty to the community members out there, I don't usually have this many people behind the bar. So my setup is more or less constrained to my very, very small body and one to two people at a time. But we're growing, see? Or at least that's what I like to convince myself as. More than awesome says everyone should cheat into frames so I can do photo command. And there we go. Oh, we weren't posing. Oh. Wait, let's do a photo. <gasps> There's chat delay, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I see the delay. I see it. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I can know. just do it myself. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do the same word. Oh my goodness. Wait, I can do oh it. Wait, I can do it in 30 seconds. Oh, wait a minute. I I can do There's this. There's a cool town. <laughs> wait, everybody do it. Okay, pose again. Pose, pose again. Do you do it? Oh. Wait, wait, I think we... <laughs> yes, it totally worked. Woo! Glenn, your face is being covered by more than awesome's beautiful typing. I it's know. Okay. I, I, oh my god, we had to... <laughs> I just implemented that command the other day. We have so much fun around here. Sweet. Beautiful. So in any case, so shall we conduct with introductions? I need no introduction. This is my channel. So please, everybody, take it away with introductions. Okay, cool. So uh, y'all probably uh, recognize me because I'm like a slower. I've played games with this dude quite a bit. Why, why am I talking to my crotch now? It looks like I'm just talking to my crotch. Oh, my crotch attacked me. Anyhow, I played games with this guy. I was also here during Thankmas, and that's about it. Right, right Cam? Feels good to me. All right, moving on. Oh, God. Why are you guys going down? It's a game we're playing. Yeah. Ever played sardines? Yes, but that's besides the point. Anyway, uh, I'm Kirsten. I go by Croft to Jasper 1. Um, first time I've really been on stream because I don't really do social media. We love much. newbies. We love you. Yay. And that's really my whole shtick. And hey. Are you joining us in the sardines? <laughs> oh my god! It works! Are you the band? Yes. The floor is all yours! Hi, uh, my name's Yumi Chow. Uh, I don't really have any videos up, but I am uh, pretty active in my uh, my uh, friends' streams. Uh, by the way, go check out Twisted Team. They do uh, some pretty funny gaming channels. I recommend those folks. They're cool. They're good, nice people. Yeah. I'll shout them out when I get back up. Also, like Oslor. Pretty yeah. cool dude. I like that guy too. Why? So many shout outs to be done. So many shout outs. All the shout outs. All the shout outs. How's oh, chat geez. doing? <laughs> Nobody's on screen. Everybody get under the table. Stream ends. Stream's over. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya. Smooth. <laughs> Smooth. Smell, short of stream. Oh my god, my ankles! Okay, yeah, you need to get up so I can get up. Cause oh, good. More Than Awesome says Durham oh, isn't that far no. from Pennsylvania. I can hop on a train. Keep drinking. Dude, that's oh the god. thing, man. I like, I, I I came to a realization this year. I kind of harped on it a lot last stream, so I won't waste too many people's times with my attempted wholesome spieling and stuff. However, like, what, what's the point of bartending if there's no patrons at the bar, right? Let's get a little philosophical for a moment. With It's a beautiful thing to have people around. And so if we can get more of that happening, 
I'd like to figure out ways to do so. And there's people literally all over the world. Twitch has their like guest star thing and OBS Ninja is a thing. So if there's a push for it, we will make it happen yeah, because no. that's what it's all about. And it's especially good for this stream because as Amy Chow just said, Misery loves company. Misery loves company. What is Misery's name today? Misery's name today is Caro Lina Reaper. But uh, not I only- I just slap it in like a random name generator. <laughs> <laughs> Slaps it off the bar. Oh my God. But we're that... also joined by a couple other friends as well. May I introduce- <gasps> Ferdinand Fresno. Ferdinand Fresno. Sir Serrano. Uh, Serrano. Howard Jalapeno. Howard Jalapeno. Hey, guys. Habanero. Ooh, Habanero. Henry Habanero. Woo! Tonight on the bar with an X, yes. the Spicy Spirits stream. A stream about spicy spirits. And, and we're live. Oh god. So that's just that's just how it goes. I would show that thing behind me. Fucking too tall. What we usually do around here is we'll introduce the spirits, we'll do a little bit of background to a couple of intros and whatnot, and we'll get right into making cocktails and stuff like that. And I think that the best place to start would be probably to make a couple of cocktails with the various different libations that we have around here. All right. Does that sound cool with everybody? Does Sounds that gel well? All right. Awesome, awesome. I have a special task for the person on the far left side of the bar. It happens to be Kaylin. Inside of the refrigerator in the bottom part are going to be four containers all the way on the top left-hand side. They are all containers of lemonade that have been infused with the same exact peppers that I have in this vodka over here oh, because no. Glenn doesn't drink alcohol, Hi. so we did something special for him. Hey, I got lemon. Well, I guess it's more like pepperade? Pepperade. Pepperade. Pepper Absolutely. Pepper Indeed. We have we have jalapeno aid. We have serrano aid. We have habanero aid and Fresno aid. I've never habanero aid's the one with the little like it's got a little skull and crossbones on there. You really can't tell, but it, it kind of looks say, like the letter like, B. I've never had like a like aid in a jar before, like lemonade in a jar. That's true, and they've all still got the peppers in them. I'm pretty sure you're only supposed to like. In Excuse me, infuse these for a good like like six, eight hours max. They've been in it for about two days now. Well, there's only one way to find out, and I'll be when we find pop out. them in our gobs and go nom nom nom, and then now, we'll be like, oh god, we're dead. Now, Glenn, we're gonna be making cocktails for ourselves here. Would you like me to put some of this with a little bit of syrup, kind of spice it up your lemonade, and give you a, put it in a glass for you to sure to enjoy? Sure, that's perfect. Fun. Please pick your poison or multiple. Um. I want kick it. Honestly, let's kick it off with a uh, jalapeno. Jalapeno, starting off small. Jalapeno peppers apparently clock in at about 2,000 to 8,000 Scoville units. Yeah. It is the unit of spice. And I don't know, does anybody know if that's a linear scale or like a um, logarithmic scale? I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Like, like, can I expect if, if I'm at 5,000 Scoville units and I go to 10,000, it's twice as spicy? Or is it literally 10 times spicy? Or two to the four, whatever that works. That, I'm actually not sure. I would have to look it up. But to my knowledge, a lot of it's also fairly relative. Cool. It's uh, it's based off... Oh, of, yeah. If Where I'm, do we if want... If I okay. correctly, it's based it's off here. of the amount of spice. Like, a bell pepper would be like a one to mm -hmm. unit. So how many bell peppers? Zero. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's a lot of freaking bell peppers. We've got Wastrel Mike over here saying, we believe that it's a linear scale, as we it's all recall. I will take your word for it. So if Thanks, anybody Mike. has problems with the facts that we're presenting here, blame him. It's his fault. <laughs> yeah, it I is mean, my fault. either that or... No, not you. I was pointed at this guy. <laughs> oh my guy. God, you're pointing at me. Yes, silly. <laughs> this mean... stream exists beyond you, Glenn. Wonder you invited me over and like, hey, well, I have I some did, spice. I did. We, I have another task for the person on the left-hand side. There is some syrups in there. They're all in various different containers. If you pick up a kit, oh, actually, you know what? Surprise me. I surprised you. Oh, that's me. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, this my favorite syrup. syrup. Me. This is the syrup. We've got. What is this? Charred oak and maple cocktail syrup. There's no alcohol in it, just syrup. Okay. Would you like to try that? Yeah, sure. That sounds not bad. That Make it happen. Interesting. Oh, yes. Actually, mind if I crack this open and give it a whiff? Absolutely. I'm going to grab a strainer. I'm going to do a little thing here. Would you like it shaken? Would you like it stirred? How would you like your lem spicy lemonade served? Um, let's get uh, shaken. Why not? Get it shaken? Can I? Oh, can I freaking... oh my God, I need ice. <laughs> There's ice in the top one. Dude, what the heck? Congratulations. Can I open um, this? What do you want? Um, James? Let's get whatever is most available. Oh, we can do, ooh. Ooh, James. Glenn's getting Disney, Disney cubes. <gasps> Disney! Disney cubes. 
By the way, if we're not cool with the constant job of opening the fridge and whatnot, we've, oh. we're free to, free to switch positions at will. Okay. Yes. If you need anything, it's over a here, very flexible it. stream. Yeah. Uh, if you want, since Ooh. I am probably the that doesn't smell bad at all. Probably yeah. the shortest on stream. I can probably use my knees and bend down. Here. It's true. It's true. And plus, there's a bunch of people here. We're bound to take bathroom breaks, so that's the beauty of having multiple hands. But some could say there's too many cooks in the kitchen. What Not you? necessarily now. I want but... to put this in everything. That smells fantastic. Let's do for Glenny Boy over here. Yeah, we're gonna do <laughs> two ounces of our um, let's see jalapeno infused our jalapeno aid. Can I? Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Wow! That's Woo! Oh my god! Beautiful. Excellent, and a pretty fine pour, if I do say so myself. Yeah. I have another angle over here, but I forgot about it. That's okay. okay. Nobody needs to see what goes in the container. And let's take an ounce of that, that uh, aid. Sure. That aid. <laughs> the syrup that we've got I knew there. what you meant, not what you said. Yeah, that's okay. We, I make mistakes sometimes. Put I that on top. Nice Actually, that's really, really tall. Glenn's yes. even, even taller. Yeah, tall. But Glenn's even taller. I am. Shall we? There we are. Yeah, ounce. that looked like it's about as tipsy as we're going to be. It's already sweetened lemonade, so this is just going to get even sweeter. I don't know. We'll see how things go. I don't know if it needs anything else. Um, what I can do as well, if you want to get crazy, is I can put bitters into it. Now, well, let's bitters do have alcohol. They're about 40%, but you put like two to three drops in it, so it's a negligible amount. Well, well, we that, can start off small if we want. Let's try how, let's it, try is, it, how it is. And then see if we need to add anything. I dig oh. it. I keep freaking elbowing your wall. Glenn, put the glass. This one falls to me. You know what? We're gonna do an angle it too. We're gonna pour like it out into the angle. From an angle. We're gonna put it in an angle. Ooh. There we go. Hi everybody! That's a fun angle. That's another angle completely. Where are that? And now for an angle that's completely different. COD games. Oh, this thing still needs a bit of work, but here we go. Nice. Here we go. Fancy. Take a closer look at that. That's a really nice. That's a really nice. Dude, nope, that's in the rough. Hmm. Still getting used to this thing. Ah, there we go. Everything is better with a dash of bitters. Say it together now. Everything is better with a dash of bitters. Now say it backwards. No. That's okay. I no, was, I was because I don't too. want to accidentally summon something. I can't open this. Do you want a I hand? Need help. Better is ever. You're seriously afraid of summoning a spirit on a cocktail stream? Yes. I'm Listen, not afraid of we don't, we don't Wait, get it? Spirit? Yes. On a cocktail stream? Also, can we bust Thank out you, the Luigi Kirsten. board now? The Luigi board? Luigi. Luigi. I'm gonna double strain this because I fear for Glenn's safety. Don't we all fear for oh, each other's safety? That's a fun Ooh. color. <laughs> Would you like that garnished with a jalapeno wedge? Sure. We can do that for you. Do I, I have any extra jalapeno? This kind of looks like here? dirty swamp water. No, I don't. So instead, what we're gonna do? Take... Ooh, that's a no. that's an alcoholic one. That's no, 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 no. We don't. We don't if it's too much Grab trouble, then no. Grab there and use the fancy uh, bar trident. I'm gonna use my fingers. Maybe not a good idea. Okay, okay. okay. Hand me my knife. Don't D touch your eyes. Don't pull a you. Come on, cut the it damn thing. It was one time. Cut yeah, one time. One time where, so I won't forget. <laughs> if I would have planned this oh, better, it would have been great. the boys are on screen. <laughs> Oreo-kun. Hello, oh. Oreo. Hey, I see Oreo. Waster back here. Oreo I'm bitter of a dash with a bitter of everything. Okay, um, I need... <laughs> my... Also, I if you need something from over here, just let me know, dude. That's fine. Oh, here. right, 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 right. Yes, we Put are this the back, extension peasants. of... Yeah, yes, master. We are the extension of your limbs. <laughs> it's true, it's true. See, I don't have to do anything over here. We have your, you have your little helpers again. It's like thank us Y'all are so again. cute. Ah, I love it, I love uh, it. I love the fact that we can have more people over here. Fun fact, if all goes well, I've actually, I've got a whole booking service now. I'm booked up next week. I'm booked up for the whole month, dude. We're gonna have impressive. somebody else on stream next week too. It's gonna be great! Who are you gonna have, Cameron? We're gonna have a purple intent back here. His name is Eric. He popped on during our cocktail stream. He was Glenn. Hearing, um, thank you, Scrap. Yes, he was. He helped me open the 24 hour stream that I we remember. did. Glenn, All right. So... That's for you. Let's see if there's any left in there. Bottoms up! A little bit of the, the backwards pour. Where do we go? We needed a reservations command. <laughs> All right, so... Reservations, as in, like, somebody says, reserve... I don't even know. Reserve so, the thing. Shall I just go bottoms up? Yep. You can bottoms up, you can go bottoms down. I can't How do you go bottoms bottom. down? I, I mean, technically, my bottoms down right now. I guess, well, technically, right? Let's try it. So, so uh, cheers, Jeff. Cheers. I'm gonna put this over here. 
Oh, you know what? No, 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 because that'll block people's faces. We don't like that. I will. Can we build a table, actually? Or, yeah, that works, too. How does it taste? Something tells me it tastes not bad. Can I have a little bit? Of course. I have a That's little... very unusual, and I, I need to bit. share this. Aww. Here you go, little bit. Would bite. anybody else like some? We have a little quarter glass. That's very interesting. It's non-alcoholic. It's basically our chaser for the moment. Bottoms most. down, aka normal. <laughs> Face down, ass up. That is nice. That's the way that we like to oh, shit. cocktail stream. Oh, yes. It's okay if you. I got a towel below us. <laughs> yeah, except it's not going on the oh, towel. It's cheers? going on my shoe. Cheers, everybody! Jalapeno aid with a little bit of charred oak and maple oats. Oh, like that's not terrible. terrible. Okay. Bottoms. I will say, usually I hate peppers. That ain't bad. No. Right? Wow. Like that's that's not really palatable. That's not bad at all. That's actually really good. It's. It's spicy. Yeah, it can't. But it's more, water. honestly, I think it's more sweet than spicy. It is. Yeah. And like, I put a lot of lemon juice in there too, and I'm actually quite surprised that the sour and the sweet and the spicy play really well there. Yeah, no, that's. That was cool. That's good. Makes that's a little good. Little tequila. Well, my goodness. We can add a little tequila. No, keep it pure. Keep it pure then. That's the way we cocktail stream <laughs> LMAO. Oh, I'd fly in Wednesday morning and just we work and fly back for a Cameron stream. Dude, DM me. Let's make this shit happen. God, I'm gonna make I can't it happen. I that all over my shoe. <laughs> Oh, it's just your shit. It's okay. We got towels. You need towel? You need towel? Yeah. We get towel to you. Anyway, that's Glenn. Anyhow, I'm gonna drink because this is like actually coaster. really good. Coaster. Coasters are right there, literally right uh -huh. inside. Perfect. Coaster. Coaster yourself. Going to grab another one just in case. And honestly, the whole idea of keeping things organized on this stream, I've I've completely thrown out the window. So this Fair is enough. this is a. I'm gonna clean this off a little bit because I only have two shakers. Bottoms. It didn't touch my mouth, it's okay. I'm gonna put these, this is my cordial glass. So I'm gonna put this here. Y'all had a cordial glass, right? Yep, it's right perfect, here. Perfect, perfect. And you know I what? Let's, that off to let's designate cordial glasses. This is for you. This is for whoever oh, wants oh. to use it. And I have a fourth one too, that can be for Glenn. Cool. Okie dokie. I'm gonna put this They're back so to the side. Cute. So cute, so Where'd you back get the sides? Are they're store. They're store. What's that? Are we just wine these or not? We can if we want to. I don't think we need to, though. Awesome. I'm just gonna this is just for our libational education and the comfort. I never thought Glenn would say, I'm just gonna keep drinking. This is good, man. <laughs> we have so much more. But first, I know y'all didn't. I know y'all didn't come here for mocktails. Oh, or maybe you did. Take... In which case. Oh, God, geez. not again. <laughs> don't you tease me like that. Can I have Link now? I think we did it. I was drinking this scene. Yeah, my eyes closed. For those of you who are watching the VOD, um, you can't see it, but there's a, an exclamation point photo command, and every single time it happens, there's a screenshot taken of us. <laughs> Did you get a good one? Good oh, thumbnail yeah. photo? Good yeah. thumbnail photo? Beautiful. I don't want to see it. I'll see it after stream. You're distracting me, Dio. You're distracting me. No, it's good. Everybody's getting distracted. No, it's okay. You don't have to get distracted. We can. Because distraction, we're, distraction, we're distraction, distraction. Distraction. Let's do. Ooh. Which pepper do you start with? Serrano? Serrano? We could do Serrano. Wait, are we doing the spirits? So we are doing, well, well, actually we're gonna do a cocktail first. And so I think technically the only cocktails that I have prepared specifically call for a habanero tincture, which we have prepared. And we also have the Carolina Reaper vodka. I don't know, do we start with that? Do we say that till the end? We tease it? Like... You know what? It That's might be fun to go low and work our way up. Go yeah. low and work our yeah. way so let's up. Go up the, let's go up the heat scale. Let's see oh, if I got anything up. specifically oh, calling out Jalapeno. Oh, we can. Oh, anyway. Let's see. I think my app thing is over here is being a little wonky. So let me see. I see the Habanero. I see the Carolina Reaper. I see more Habanero. Uh, da, da, da. I mean, Bell when in doubt, we can always try to think of something one. on the fly. Cantalupe. Sour. Habanero. That's Habanero. We can also use whichever pepper we want to. Yeah. It's okay. We can do whatever we want to. It's his dream. Help. Chili steeped gin. Ooh, we could do a gin and tonic, but we use the jalapeno instead. Ooh. And instead of using gin, we could use tequila. And maybe instead of the tonic, we'd add a little bit of agave syrup to it. Kind of like a, kind of like a margarita. Hmm. You have options, bro. We'll muddle on it. But it's, oh, uh. you went, ah, ah. Sorry, y'all can't tell, but every time you click the wrong place on this little app that I have here, it's called Recipe Keeper. It's, it's fine. It will like, <coughs> the arrows disappear. So I have to go back to the main menu and do it. You know what? Let's do let's do this one. It uses mezcal, chili liqueur, orange juice, and honey turmeric syrup. But instead of using the mezcal, we could use one of the uh, the spicy the spicy vodkas. 
That works. All right. I'm cool with it. This one was actually recommended by Imi Chow, Kaylin, who said, who were called The Ego. And do you remember what book that came from? It looks like it's got like yellow lettering and stuff on it. It has moon phases on the top and occasions like social gathering, first dance, first date, and singles night. Oh, hmm. right. Um, it was, uh... That seems like two opposites. Right. What was that book? I know it was one of the witchcraft ones. Did you show me these? Can we put uh, this off right. to the side, sir? Sure. Thank you. We use Mezcal. Yes, there are. Sounds like witchcraft cocktails. Yeah. All right. right. So there, there was a book I had I'm that uh, like. Put this. <laughs> put this over there if we can. Thank you. Yeah, because it was it was cool. Before before the stream started, I was kind of chatting back and forth with Imi Chow, and we I think she introduced to me two whole cocktail books that I'd literally never seen before. And they were really, really big on like tinctures and like spicy infusions and stuff, which was perfect because I was like, if we're doing like a Carolina we have a Carolina Reaper here on stream, we gotta like share the love to the other peppers and stuff. So it was actually really, really it was really cool. And most of the cocktails are actually from that book. Although the Charleston Distilling Company website does have a couple of recommendations on how you're supposed to use your Carolina Reaper vodka. And we can explore that later on if we want to. But so this cocktail called The Ego comes from a book whose name escapes us, but if we ever figure it out, it's which we will. It's literally called Witchcraft Cocktail. Oh, it's literally called, there we yeah. go. All right, so Perfect. the idea behind the book was like, <clears throat> basically in uh, Witchcraft, uh, there, there's, this, <laughs> there's this belief that if you like, put enough like desire intentionality mm -hmm. into your endeavors it will be more likely to come true and totally certain, uh certain spirits actually carry like certain uh qualities to it totally yeah i think i i the uh, the idea that like it's interesting so in terms of the point of like really like putting the effort into i guess whatever you put in front of you in this case it happens to be cocktails for this <clears throat> stream in particular i know i put a lot of like time into making sure all the infusions were together and the lemonade and stuff and i think that makes a cocktail like just more enjoyable or just really anything more enjoyable some could say like that's kind of the spirit of it all like the heart of it all and i completely vibe with that and it's cool too because i see on this page here that they specify a moon phase they specify what kind of occasions that this would be good for and i feel like that kind of that kind of vibes with the like the with this particular set of libations together it would be proper to kind of i guess like channel a particular type of energy for particular occasions if i'm interpreting it correctly yes cool yeah certain times of mm -hmm. uh, day of month of year are best for trying to put effort into certain things some people actually like they try and like channel cards crystals Ooh. sometimes even uh different colors have different uh, like vibes to them. Nice. Hmm. It's interesting to think that the peppers also have like like wildly different colors. Like, and I say that and it's mostly just green, red, and orange. But like, yeah. you know, I'm sure there's a purple pepper out there somewhere. Um, Maybe if we combine it all together. Um. Is there like a chocolate? Chocolate food or something? Is that a pepper? I think it so. is. Is it to taste like chocolate? I think it tastes like chocolate. Now. Okay, but... I was gonna say like you almost had me hooked for a second there. <laughs> I don't know how to get that in my dude. A pepper that tastes like chocolate, like that would be interesting. It's like I the mean, apple you that tastes like a mix it with it. That sounds good. It's common tradition, and I want to say uh, not only Mexico but a lot of places in South America. Ah, but my ego—it's getting ahead of myself. Yes, it it's is. like a cocktail. So for this one, we're gonna need mezcal, honey, chili salt. I don't have chili salt. I have turmeric. I got all that stuff. Mezcal. We're gonna sub out with our jalapeno vodka. Chili liqueur, we've got our Ancha Reyes here. Orange juice, I have some in the fridge. Honey turmeric syrup. I'm gonna use honey syrup that I have already prepared. I didn't make honey turmeric syrup, but there should be turmeric on the table somewhere. And on the top shelf, there is a tiny bottle that looks like it probably could hold baby food. That should be the honey syrup on the top. All right, and do you need anything from over here? Let's see, this one is rim our glass. Shake vigorously, strain into glass. We're gonna need a no, shaker. Okay. We're gonna need a shaker. Ooh, this one is pineapple juice. And this is pineapple juice that is too old. That's on me. Let's just like oh. put that off on the table somewhere. Should That's my bad. That turmeric that's over there. It should be the other container. It's funny because it looks exactly like the container. It looks exactly like that one. Okay, uh, so you need a shaker. Yes, we need a shaker. So actually, yeah, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the same one because it uses the jalapeno, and we're yeah. sticking with the same pepper. So I think it's okay to use the same shaker. Mm -hmm. If anybody has recommendations for 
like um, particular shakers and stuff. I need more. Good. That's the one. Also, that is very sticky. Mm, it's a very, very sticky honey indeed. Very, very sticky. Very, very sticky indeed. Or something very, very icky. All right, so. And turmeric. turmeric. May I have the bucket, please? The bucket. The bucket. Showcase the bucket. The bucket. Into the, the bucket. bucket. That's all I needed it for. Perfect. Now I'm going to put some more ice in there. We've got already got some over here. We're going to put it all into our shaker. Perfect. Put it oh, all good. together. I'm not eating from this bucket again. No, don't eat from the bucket. No, that's the honorary bucket. If you do anything to the bucket or need to use the bucket in any way, shape, or form, it's an honor for the bucket. That's why we call it the honorary bucket. Well, I ate out of it last time. <laughs> Pull up the clip. Don't need that anymore. I don't have the clip. Don't throw it in the bucket on command. Please don't throw it into the bucket. <laughs> not, not on command, at least. No, I, I meant the clip of me eating out of the bucket. Oh. Oh, that was from the stream, right? Yes! Oh. Where I was eating at lemon and lime peels. I understand. I understand. No, you don't. Okay. Anyhow. Now you what we're going to need. You don't understand, Mom. You don't understand what happens on the stream. Stay on the stream. I need a glass. I think sure. this would probably go well in something like a like a like a thin like a glass with um not a lot of space in it. Like Actually, I'm okay, like seeing this one. Now I'm thinking more coupe like, but like it's not a coupe. Actually, I don't know what you call this. Here we go. Sorry, I, I kind of push the. I have closed pins so that my glasses don't fall. I'm gonna use Ooh. this glass here. It's I don't a, know if this it is considered like a, a like a dinner bell. It does kind of. It's like it's, it's like, like a, big, a bigger cordial glass. Exactly. That's what it feels like. So the first thing we need to do is we need to rim the top of this with some turmeric. Um, or we can technically do that at the end because I just realized I don't have a plate over here. That's my bad. You yeah. uh, I may need a plate. Right hand man, yeah. are you able to squeeze through this beautiful crowd? I don't think I. Uh, well, now I can. Can I task you with obtaining a plate? Sure, I don't I believe in you. I don't exactly remember where the plates are. Um, if you go downstairs and you look on the cabinet that is on the right hand side of the sink, all the way on the top. Oh, Anna's got it. Uh, Thanks, baby. I'm coming, Luigi. As we no, discovered guys. last week, it takes a village, and the village today involves at least four people. Some children. Oh, actually five. The five if you include myself. Yes. Okay, so while we're getting a plate available, we're also gonna use some, it says we rim the glass with honey, and I believe I have my honey over here. <gasps> There's my honey, yeah. but we don't need it just yet. I'll hold that to the side. Kirsten, would you like to come on this side and have some chance with the spotlight? Certainly. We're paradigm shifting. Yes. Uh, ah, the, bucket. the bucket! That was my bad, I forgot about the bucket. You idiot. So many buckets! When? Anyhow. Move your bucket. Move it elsewhere. I will take the bucket. Take this plate. You didn't tell you what size, so I got that one. Is that a good this enough is, That works. I will put down this side and we will get to it eventually. Y'all shuffle in in whichever order you prefer. I'm gonna need one of those jiggers. Take this jigger. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna use first an ounce and a half, or about 44 milliliters. The recipe calls for mezcal, but we're gonna use jalapeno infused vodka. You could also use jalapeno infused tequila, which I do happen to have below this bar, but I don't know if we want it for this one. We could sub out for tequila, but I think we'll go for the vodka this time, because the vodka de deserves some love, because it hasn't received a lot of love. Actually, I haven't even opened this guy yet. Ooh. Take a closer Ooh, sniff of the jalapeno. That is potent. Would you like to indulge? It's, it's actually really you nice. Just cinch it's a couple of my nose salty. hairs. It's almost salty a little bit. Yeah, it almost smells like pickled jalapeno. I'm into that. Isn't that technically what that is? It's kind of like it's pickled in a way, but you would need, I guess, vinegar for that. But we've got yeah, here. Brine. Let me see what that looks like up close. I'm gonna put this over here. Oh. This is. Please excuse the artifacting. It's uh, the stream's so damn good. We're using up all the bandwidth. <laughs> or at least I like to say so. So we're gonna take this, and we were going to pour an ounce and a half or about 44 milliliters into our glass. I have a measuring majigger. I'm gonna flip it over and pour it up to the topmost part. I'm gonna wind up double straining all this stuff out at the end. So I, I strained first the first time because I was afraid of the seeds and stuff, but it's gonna be pretty hard to avoid because I didn't pre-strain them. Um, that's Glenn's fault. He was the one who said, don't do it. Don't pre-strain them. We don't need to. And I was like, okay, man. Well, hey, it's a bonus. It just adds more spice, so we can suffer a little bit more. More spice, more stuff that is nice, perchance. We're also gonna need half an ounce of chili liqueur. I I don't have chili liqueur, but this is an ancho chili liqueur. Ancho Reyes. It's like the only spicy liqueur I have, although now I have at least four more. We're gonna add half an ounce or about 15 milliliters to our cocktail shaker if I can open the damn bottle. Do you need your right hand woman I need to do to so? I insist the help of my right hand woman this time. Thank you. You're welcome. Dude, that was so easy for you. I've been emasculated on stream. It's okay. It's not the first time. 
It's okay. I've had so many years of opening pickle jars. <laughs> Half an ounce. 15 milliliters of your spicy chili liqueur. Whichever you've got. We've got ancho, which is a type of chili. For those yeah, of you who don't technically know. chili liqueur. It's technically chili liqueur. It totally is. I'm going to put that by your foot. There's yes, a proper place for it. We'll keep it there for now. Fancy. I will put it actually down here right By the way, if it seems at any point in time that I'm completely hogging the ability to make the cocktails and you would like to participate... I think I'll try and make it. Or, we can do that. You do not want me to do that. I I have bumble fingers. Bumble fingers? Would you like to try it? You're more than welcome to. Well, if you have bumble you, fingers, you know what? You know what? We're going to do that. Careful. We're going to do that. I'm going to swap places with Kingdom. I love how it's like musical spots in the bar. All it right. really is. So, I mean, some of us can also take a seat at like the front. All right. We can. There is space in front of the bar. Yeah. So we're going to need an ounce and a half or about 44 milliliters of some orange juice. So the top line? The top line, not the total total top, but there should be a thin line up there that tells you exactly where it needs to go. Yeah. Literally perfect. That's great. All right. And that's going into our cocktail shaker. We've got some jalapeno infusion. <laughs> jalapeno vodka first. <laughs> we have chili liqueur in there as well. Like some this fancy, fancy like OJ. And some OJ. Lycos liquor. You know, I was a drinker. Put it in the fridge, bud. Oh, got you, bro. Oh, thank you, Sorry. thank you. Oh, you're totally good. Chat is most easily read over there. Disney Queen says there are just so many people making it much fun. Oh, yes. Crap. I just realized that we're here. Much fun. Chat, so very. I'll pull it up on my phone. Much, much, much fun. fun much very drink. mixed. So spice. So spicy. The next thing we're gonna need is. Looks like it said the, it was the honey syrup. The honey syrup, right? Do we recall which, how much of that it was? No. Not on the top of my head. Um, that is totally okay. All right, let me go here. Uh, it looks like it is... An ounce. Looks like an ounce? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so an that's literally that's just going to be the other side of the jigger, wouldn't Flip it? Flip that measure of jigger all the way around and fill all the way up to the top. Now, it's supposed to be honey turmeric syrup, so I thought of it this way. We're going to take the honey syrup, put it on the inside, and like sprinkle some turmeric into it as much as you deem right, necessary. So... There's the honey syrup, so let's slap some turmeric in there. Slap that turmeric. Slap that turmeric. Slap that turmeric. Slap that turmeric. Lean it down now. Slap that turmeric. Slap that turmeric. Slap that turmeric. Slap that turmeric. What's it called? The ego. The ego. The. Oh, that's struggling. Ugh. Ego. Something that I never showcase on the screen. That's our current recipe. Uh, well, so we. That's fine. All right. Zooey mama. Did we slap it with that turmeric? We did. Yes. Oh Sorry. my god, this is gonna be great. Slapped it hard. Do you slapped trust me to try and? Hard slappage. Yes. Yeah. Go for it. I don't like that shaker. It is specifically trying to. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I hate. I love that shaker. It was a gift from my coworker, but like it doesn't want to stay together. Go ahead, hand it back. <laughs> I got you, bro. All right. Okay, so what you handing this, John? I, oh. I almost bopped your finger there. Don't bop. Don't bop your guess. All right. Shaking that up. Now Caitlin's got that taken care of. I'm gonna take some of our honey. 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 And put that in this bowl here, and we're gonna rim the glass with it. And we're gonna put some turmeric on the outside. I guess that I will only be rimming with honey Come today. Come on, Caitlin, shake what your bartender so gave you. This is my, this is my honey today. Shake what your bartender gave you. Now, how often how do you make in the bar, and they ask you to make the drink yourself? Actually, we should probably be paying you. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so what I'm doing over here is I'm rimming the glass with some honey, putting it all the way on the rim. I know what we're gonna do. And you're gonna slap some turmeric. Kirsten? Yes. Would you like to slap that turmeric all over this glass? Oh slap hell yeah, that. man. Make it rain, make it golden rain, not showers. Yeah? Just just go for it. However much you need. Oh my ah! There we go. That's a lot of turmeric. It's a lot of heaping ton of turmeric. Perfect. Glenn. Beautiful. Yo, what up, dog? Get this plate out That of is the wrong way. Welcome to the party. Dude. What was that? A weird number? A weird number indeed. Like 69, perhaps? I don't know. That was just, I don't say that normally. It just popped out the other day. Do we need to take, do I need to take this downstairs? Or? No, 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 no. Nothing needs to go downstairs. We'll just keep it on the table just so we all have it here. Welcome. What oh, up shit. indeed, what up? dude? Here comes that weird number. Oh shit, what up? Dad? What up? I miss, I miss that boy. I do. Oh my don't God. Don't we all? Wait, Kirsten, grab. Bring the boom arm over. 
Bro, it's and then we're gonna click Control Numpad Five. Okay, so Control Number Pad Five. Yeah. This. Okay. This oh, guy is whoa. Dripping. This guy is literally dripping. It's actually kind of disgusting, but we're into it. It's good. It's good, and it's wonderful. And you know what? We're 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 into it. All right. Do you, does anything need to be removed from the bar? Mm, yes. Let's take the syrup out of here. We'll take the turmeric out of here. Turmeric, I think we're good. Think we're Remind good. me to get you a better shaker, because or just more shakers in general. I have two. Okay. Uh, wait. Ooh, what's so the strainer? Yes. Um. There should be another strainer. Did we put one over there already? Or did so. I move it to the other side? Kirsten. Right hand girl. Do we see a strainer over there? I okay. do. Yes. And we're gonna strain over the top. Pour. Pour some spicy on me. Ooh, in the, in the name, name of, of love. Jalapenos. That, that's not how that goes. All right. Oh, that looks, yeah. That looks like something all Winnie the Pooh would drink Take because, a closer look at because that like cocktail. the honey has like an even more golden look to it because of the turmeric. It's so, so pretty. That actually looks delightful. Oh my god. Oh, I got honey on myself. Ooh, it's got turmeric on it. It's blazing. So do a quick little little clean over here. All right, Kirsten. If you do the exact same thing again with the control numpad at five, we'll be able to go back to the main angle. Got you covered. Welcome back, Coolio. So now, what we've just created there is something called the, the ego. ego, and the ego was made with one and a half ounces or forty-four milliliters of mezcal. We swapped it out with some vodka-infused jalapenos. I know I said that backwards. We also have half an ounce or about fifteen milliliters of chili liqueur in there. We have one and a half ounces or forty-four milliliters of orange juice. It's not fresh this time. We got lazy because we did a bunch of other prep in the background, and a single ounce of honey turmeric syrup. It's kind of to a honey syrup with turmeric in it, because again, we pushed ourselves this time. We've got peppers to cover. And you know what? I think we could, we could take a break every once in a while with that kind of um, endeavor in front of us. So yes. who's gonna take the plunge? I say that- restrained. Oh, I'm sorry, I was on the instructions. <laughs> sorry, what, what, what? I was going to say that Kaylin should take the honor since she made the drink. Bartenderess, would you like to take a sip of your drink? Why don't you start a yeah. Want me to just put this on the okay. table? Get, get, get out of here. Yes, master! How's it taste? Is it bolstering your ego? Bolstering something. Oh my! My blood oh. pressure. <laughs> I have a blood pressure cover. We need it. All right. Um. I no, it's fine. All right. It's very spice forward. Mm -hmm. You're definitely getting uh, notes of the honey. Very cool. Turmeric uh, blends in pretty well. I love the way it's like really like dripping down the glass. That is a beautiful, beautiful photo. Do we want to take it? What if you like mix the turmeric in with a little bit of pearl dust and then did that for the rim? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you mean luster dust? Yes, yes, I did because yes. I saw that do earlier. Do you want to make it magical? I do. Wait, go back. Control, control numbat five again and swing over the boom arm. Yeah. To the boom arm. I'm going to make it magical. Just a, just a Oh, that's literally all we need. All right. Oh, Not that sponsored. Back over here. I'm going to take one of these fancy straws and give it a little bit of a swirl. I don't know if that'll appear on the camera, but we're going to try our damnedest. Is it sparkly yet? It's, it's like sparkly. a very, very a subtle sparkle. difference. A little bit of a sparkle. It's more viewable from the angle that I Ooh, have. spicy. <laughs> Ooh, I just put that in my mouth. Wow. That's incredible. Bucket. 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 Ooh! Ooh! Bucket! Three points. Ten points. Would you like to try, host? Change angle. Absolutely, I would love to. Are we all consenting to the sharing of glasses here? That is fine by me. Okie dokie. I've had all my face. shots. Okie dokie. Then we, I think we're all in agreement here. I am. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Okay. And now I can see the last <laughs> Is it showing in my eyes? Yes. Oh yeah. My God. So that's a that that's will a spicy definitely cocktail. hit your metabolism. My God, um, that is a spicy cocktail. Okay. First and foremost, um, there's see. some jalapeno in there. Oh yeah. But the second thing I get. Oh, that really, ancho chili is gonna kick like it's a meal. very honey. To be honest, I can't really tell the difference between the jalapeno spice and the ancho chili spice. I think there's a little bit of like. There's care. there's a lot of there's some depth in there, but I don't know if that's the the honey syrup because I've, the honey that I have at least I don't remember what kind oh. it is. It's got a lot of depth to it. Okay. 
That was good. I could see it affect you. Wait, are we still pointing in the middle or are we pointing on the side? I'm gonna put a coaster over there and we can put it ah. wherever we want to. Okay. Wow, that's cool. Oh, and the honey just sticks to your lips so it stays. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> the spice lingers. This is no longer a COVID compliant bar. Well, I mean, yeah. what's, a, what's a couple of sips and indirect kisses among friends? Yeah. So they say. And I've roomed with at least two of you. That's this true. is definitely, definitely mm -hmm. less than two meters. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes. Who's vaxxed? Yay! Yay! Vaccination is important. Yep. In any case, that cocktail was called the Ego. It's a, it's a. Honestly, that since, that kick. Since I'm not trying it. I'm like on a scale of one to ten. Like in terms of like, actually two different scales. One of like, ser like spiciness scale, and the other of like it being a good drink scale. Uh, I actually want to go down the line. So uh, can't remember what the next. Okay, I've had the spicy poblano omelet at IHOP before, and this reminds me a lot of the spicy poblano I IHOP omelet. Um, okay. Yes. <laughs> would, you, would you get this again? Would I? Yes, would you make this again? This is my bar, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is my IHOP, damn it! You own an IHOP? Congratulations! Well, it's actually an IHOC. The C stands for cocktail. Eh. Anyway. Hey, okay. Hey, what? Yeah, I would, I would definitely get it again. Okay. I will say, all things considered, it has, like, if you're already familiar with jalapeno spice, it's there. And it's potent. I had, like, a jalapeno margarita one time at one of the bars up the street. It's called the Green, uh, it's called the, um, it's not the Green Room. I don't remember what it's, the Fairview. Um, it wasn't very good. It wasn't very spicy either. It was definitely more for a crowd that when you see jalapeno, they're like, <laughs> like, ooh, it might be a little spicy. Let me sip it. It's like, ooh. Like white girl spicy? <laughs> Potentially. A little, little basic if we want to go that route. But this, the, this is, like... I this is the next the step up. Earlier. And it's like a jalapeno on her mouth. Oh, yeah. However, there's a dryness from the turmeric, which is actually quite nice. I feel like the dryness sort of, sort of like kind of gels well with what I've tried in other like chili uh, flavor, uh, well, chili liqueur cocktails previously. So it's not totally out of place there. But in addition to that, like the sweetness is there. It's actually oh, yeah. really, really sweet for it. So the honey syrup is like perfect. Yeah. And it's kind of interesting because like... I don't necessarily like the taste of alcohol itself. Mm -hmm. I can't taste it in there. To be fair, I agree with you there. All I taste is just pure heat. It's sweet heat in automobiles. Yes. Not gasoline. So, like, it's 10 out of 10 on both for me. I wouldn't get it again just because I'm not that big of a fan of spicy. Mm -hmm. Like, I am a giant wimp compared can, can to you, most can of you guys. Like, duck, duck down for a moment. You, you said yes. you're not a fan of what you said? I am not that what, big of a fan. What are we doing of today? Spicy. What are we doing today? I am here for your pleasure, not mine. Um. <laughs> Let's not knock Ooh. over the glass. Carolina Reaper. <laughs> We're not even close to it. Um. So this probably clocks in somewhere around the 2,000 to 8,000 Scoville unit range. The uh, jalapeno infused vodka. I said that wrong again. No. Just kidding, I said that correctly. You said that correctly. No, you got it. It only gets up from here. We're going to be making more cocktails. <laughs> Would you say we're turning up the heat? <laughs> you have five minutes to vacate the building. <laughs> we're done. No, I'm just kidding. Come back. I'm just kidding. Please come Don't back. Don't leave me. Don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> Weird number was in Philly recently and hit up Oscars and A plus, A triple plus oh, one yeah, bar again. again. PHL isn't too far away, weird number. No, it's true, it's true. Is that in like the Philadelphia airport? Ooh, I'm gonna write that down. It's called Oscars. Oscars. It's funny, we have uh, Anna's family's new dog is named Oscar and I like it's to great. call him Oscar Meyer Wiener because I like to say wieners because it's funny. Yeah, wieners. <laughs> so, say. No, it's actually a greyhound. He's a cute little dude. Quite the opposite of a wiener dog, if I do say so myself. Much taller and, and thicker. Hello from Berlin. How are you feeling tonight? Me feeling, feeling good? good? Well, Rue 0812, my mouth is on fire so far, and it's only going to get worse from here. So if that's something that you're interested in... Right. Deadpan. <laughs> so who wants to keep? Does anybody want oh. to keep drinking the ego? Rue, uh... uh I, I guess. Oh. Coolio! If I did, I would just have to keep sipping it. Sounds good. Rue's got a challenge. Oh. Challenge. Oh. Challenge. Uh, okay. I like spice. I like spice. I really okay, what's challenge? What's challenge? Here. Here. Let's, I can't see. Let's swap Let me... spots here. I'll allow you to get comfortable with so, uh, this guy over next. here. Here you uh, go. 
thanks. You're very welcome. Would you like the coaster with you if it's more comfortable? I think so. Sure. You go. I was just gonna have another set just in case we wanted to keep on display. Absolutely, we can do that. Whatever we want to do. Uh, what is the next drink of choice? I'm really the fighting for the spice. spice must one, two, one, two. <laughs> we'll be, uh, don't worry, we have the bucket and we have water. Do we have any water on standby? Uh, no, we do I'm not. better now, it just took a moment. Perfect. Okay, Speaking no, of which, definitely great drink I as long as right. you should drink as well. Take your time. Not a chugging drink. Weird number. That was an excellent Dune reference, if I do say so myself. We're a bunch of nerds around here, and I watched actually there's a Dune video ge board game somewhere in this apartment. Wait, it's all right. Dune? It's I. It's I. Yeah. Like, How many like board games do they make of video games these a days? Lot. Because I know we have Skyrim. Probably have, more than. Oh, I forgot you guys got the Skyrim game. Not only oh. the it's good. Skyrim one, we have all of the expansions for it, including oh, yeah. the figures. Mm. So yeah, really excited. To, those, don't you still need to paint those? Yeah. That's Wait, actually. what was it, dude? Do you still need to paint the figures? Uh, I'm on the fence. I might paint them eventually once I got my butt. Weird number says they've been meaning to check out the board Doom game. Is it le the board the Dune board game? Is it legit? Dune. Yeah, I was thinking it's I. Right. My brain thought Doom. It is legit though. I think what happens is like you're. It's kind of like a race against not really a race against time, but like the storm is flowing around the map, and you're kind of moving along with it. Like I don't really know how to explain it. I played it like once. If Pepper comes back on stream, not 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 Pepper's Peppers, <laughs> Pepper Pepper, uh, she'll be able to explain uh, it better than I can. Pepper, well, Pepper. maybe next time you should do a gaming stream with Pepper. We possibly could. I've been planning that at some point. Dude. Roos has a challenge for us. Yes. One of us does a cocktail. Another person gets to be blindfolded and must say what is in that cocktail. Uh -huh. Ooh. It'd be very interesting to see Class which, challenge. if you can guess which type of pepper it is. However... There's a logical next pepper, and I feel like that in that that kind of context leading up to it, Carney kind of already deems the answer. Well, I mean, then we could kind of just do it at the end. We could. Yeah. Once all the peppers have been gone through. No, yeah, I agree. If somebody can hold me accountable for that and remind me at the end. Yeah, can we like? I'll try that. Can we like pin that? Do the pepper challenge. Do the pepper challenge, says Disney <laughs> Queen. That's my fiance. She says we must. So. Evidently. So shall it be? So Disney Queen, for, can you remind us? Yeah, Disney Queen, do it. She's got to go to sleep. Oh, the yeah, challenge when you do have time for the challenge. The challenge when you do have time for the challenge. A very challenging challenge. The challenge time for the challenge. Also, next challenge? week, is it going to be alcoholic or non-alcoholic? It would probably be alcoholic. Probably it's alcoholic. Cocktail, my guy. Oh, or it might not be. We could challenge you to try to see if there is cocktail in it. Uh, I say weird things sometimes. Uh, <laughs> we could also blindfold Glenn and see if he can actually enjoy one of them. This is true. This is very, very true. Oh boy, dang, blindfolded. Oh my god, everybody do some circle legs. Circle legs? Circle legs? There's channel requests for people to make us do workouts. You don't uh, have to participate if you want to, but, but, I am currently circling my leg. Everyone's doing circles. You can't. Wait! Yes, you can! We have the other angle. Observe. Uh, we can't really tell. No, we really. Not without hey. moving the iPhone. Nah, that ain't gonna work. You'll just have to take our word for it, I guess. Yeah. One of you get blindfolded yeah, right now. Does anybody volunteer for blindfolding? I'll volunteer. Also, do we have a blindfold? I have an idea. May I get past you for a moment? I have a perfect idea. Well, first off, I. Do you know what a balaclava is? I do know what a balaclava is. I'm probably going to get, is, take these off. Kind of the, the Glenn, yeah, it's a head yes. covering that's Glenn, usually, here. usually worn by the spy in TF2. I am the oh, spy. Dude. You're very tall for a spy. <laughs> and now, without Glenn knowing, we're going to Zero. kidnap him and he's going to wake up in a country of Kirsten's <laughs> choosing. Ooh! I'm going to wake choose up. Choose fast. Will you use? Will you choose chili? Uh, Kazakhstan. Is oh that John on backwards? Yes. Yes. So Glenn can't see us with those beautiful eyes that. I mean, I can see you perfectly. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, you can't. No, you can't. Hey. Any case. <laughs> I mean, we could just have him close his eyes. You gotta be. It's gotta be North Korea. Well, they say North Korea is best Korea. Or at least I. So Glenn I'm is going to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to Brazil. Okay, you want, as long as it's not Bra 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 Brazil. Brazil. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna move on to another cocktail, another one that we have in here. Technically, if we want to do the challenge, and if Glenn is willing to do so, he will, upon his own accord, walk downstairs and not return until we call him back up. Okay. But that's his choice. No, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll do the challenge. You're just moping out of here so easily. Well, no, I don't want to do a challenge. You don't like me or something? No, I love you. When in? Oh, I'm missing that. I'm gonna be gone for like two minutes, but I'll feel like an eternity. And just like that, chat has completely pushed away one of my best friends. Uh -huh. Do I still know Thanks, this on my face? Get out of here! 
Okay. Anyway, he's going. To, not only is Glenn going to Brazil, he's basically going to jail. He's going to the dungeon downstairs. And now this whole camera. There's so much space above us. So much room for activities. Oh my gosh. Hugs among folks. Bye, Glenn. We love you. We always will. All right. Next cocktail of the season. Um, oh, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, get out of here. We're gonna. Oh. Small pause while Glenn goes eva and evacuates. Also, if I may request, can I make the next cocktail? You absolutely may. Would you like to reveal why you want to? Uh, yes, because I. And the partner of Lycos Lore. Lycos Lore and Corrupted hear Jasper together. A Corrupted Jasper on stream. That would be me. I am. I am the man behind the curtain. I am the woman behind the camera. I also. I also say as well. I had forgotten that we said that we were going to shout out a couple of folks. Uh, so I'm going to do that now because Lycos Lore has so willingly like gone downstairs. So I think that deserves a shout out. To be perfectly honest, Lycos Lore is another pa another pal of mine, uh, and he also streams. Um, and I'm trying to read this from afar, Instant and I can't. Plug-in. Lycos <laughs> underscore lore. Let's see if that works. Looks like Disney Queen's Did it work? Did it work? I don't know if it worked. Yeah. I don't know if that worked. Right. What is the smoke? Hey, we have more people. We um, do. That's Rice Aroni. Um, Hello, Rice Aroni. Rue! Rue walked into our bar, replacing Glenn's spot. You were the one who chased him away, so you have a seat here now, and you uh, got it. Cameron? Yeah, what's up? What is the smut challenge? What's the smut challenge? Smut challenge? What do you see smut challenge? Smut challenge, you're I can loving tell you for the smut challenge. Oh, context. <laughs> we like to give context around here. I currently have a community goal going. If everybody can put their pals together and raise 30,000 party chat points, um, I'm going to read smut. <laughs> it sounds like fun. <laughs> Wait, oh my god. Like hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do the shout outs while I still have the opportunity to. Can actually, you know, get the points? Absolutely. Can I shout out from here? I'm still getting used to this thing. Shout out. That's not cheating, right? No, it's not cheating. Shout out Lycos Lore? I'm trying to see if I can do this on mobile. I don't know. Try? Hey, it works! Hey! That's, our, that's our buddy Glenn. He also streams and does a lot of YouTube stuff. And we also had Twisted Team, too. So we'll do that for them as well. Uh, reminds me of when he ate a live onion on stream. Is there a is there an underscore in Twisted Team or not? Nah? I don't know. I don't remember. We'll put that off in a second. Thank you for contributing to community time. Streamception. <gasps> Streamception. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't be the first time. Glenn finished off his jalapeno stuff. Can we place that on the table over there? It's a dirty glass. You know, like dirty, 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 glass. dirty, dirty glasses. Oh, oh. Thank you so much. Hey. Okie doke. Next, don't tell Lycos. We're gonna so. make a cocktail, and I think what we should do, I actually kind of want to hype up that it is a cocktail, but use the lemonade instead. Well, no, then he's gonna know. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Glenn's Wait, usually a very non-alcoholic person. Juice? We do have lemon juice. The we can trick we him. Can, yeah. The, now I will. I will say it. you are you are his partner, so yes. I know he doesn't usually drink alcohol. With your extended permission, can we put some milk in it? All right. What if we only drinking. put like half? Of we can put. We can put, do a little bit. We can cut down it. We can cut down it and put. We can do half. Ooh, we can do half of the lemonade and half of the elk. Plotting. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see which cocktail that we have prepared. We'll be able to cover this type of activity. I see. We can pull another one from uh, one of the books that. Excuse me. I got a lot of hiccups here over here. One of the other ones that we pulled from one of uh, Kaylin's books. I see. Let's see. Matador. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, one of these uses, there's the one. The Matador uses bell pepper rings as a garnish, Reposado tequila, oh, he uses the tequila. Habanero tincture, sour mix. Ooh, sour mix, orange slice. Perfect. And we rim it with some buca and some sea salt. Good stuff. And he uses cantaloupe puree, which I've prepared specifically for the stream. I don't know if he's gonna be able to guess cantaloupe. No, does he? No. Does he eat a lot of melons? No, actually. I think this is gonna work out perfectly. Right now, the and I don't really know. No, you're how, good. Go for it. I don't know how well his palate is because mm -hmm. usually he is just non-mom in my food hole. But that's true. That's true. All right. Yeah. So the Matador is from a recipe book called Apothique, which was Where's written by. Yeah. It was written by the owner of said establishment, and the idea behind their recipe book is different herbs being Let used to promote. Uh, different aspects of wellness and they, they even uh, create their own line of bitters that allegedly you could get at online at the time of publishing Ooh. but we looked online and we mm -hmm. could not find them. Yeah, I remember trying to look for, so in, in the book it was called Apothic, right? 
Yeah. I remember trying, there's a bunch of um, recipes that call for APO types of bitters, and I think one was rejuvenation, one was, that's the only one that I can bring to mind right now, but I was like, one I tried to- One mm -hmm. uh, one- Probably a bunch of them. Yeah. I think I brought the books with me, they're just like downstairs with one. Ooh, well if we want to pop them out, we can. However, we'll wait until after Not Glenn right does that. his little challenge. So the matador calls for a couple things. We have to muddle some red pepper rings in a shaker, add the measured ingredients, shake it vigorously, rum the rim, rub, uh, rim rub the, glass. the rim of a rock's glass, a bit of a tongue twister with an orange slice, and then use sambuca and anise salt to be able to uh, put some put some stuff on it. Double string. Cracked red pepper, it says we need to put in that. A pepper up here. Hmm. We can make this work. We'll totally make this work. Okay. I think I have red pepper flakes, though. That'll, That'll work. work. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some red pepper rings. It doesn't say specifically what kind of red pepper. I think I found the yep. Okay. I've got, I've got some, I've got some serranos. Right? Ooh, you got it! Her, if you will. Perfect, perfect. I was going to say, we also have the... Uh, this was made by pureeing cantaloupe. Um, so for all you following along at home, grab the closest cantaloupe melon, cut it in twine, and shove it into a food processor. That's not big enough for the entire melon. Or a blender. Or a bl oh, mm, yes. really I could probably do the bell one as well. That's true. That's true. Okay, so we do need... I don't think I brought the bell, pep the bell peppers up here. But I think we're going to use a spicy red pepper instead. We've got some serrano peppers that have been infusing. Because these are actually Fresno. These are... Oh, I'm sorry. I say serrano? I, I yes. spoke incorrectly. These are Fresno peppers. They're red. They kind of look something like this. They've been sitting in some vodka, and being that we've already agreed to agreed to exposing glycos lore to a glead. something potentially alcoholic, I think we can use that as our muddler. Perfect. Is it not closing? It's totally okay. It's not it's not set up properly, so even if it's open a little bit, I think everything will be a okay. I'm not risking it. Sounds good. All right, first we're gonna need a shaker. I'll also grab a rocks glass from behind you. Absolutely. We're going to use this shaker this time, because I feel like it's probably going to be easier oh, to clean than the other goodness. ones. We're finally going back to the regular ones. It's just, it's just how it needs to be. Yeah. Rice, Rice Cerrone says twain, not twine. Twine? Oh, twine is rope. Yes, twine That's is true. rope. Well, we could also slice it in twain with twine, technically speaking, if we want to go. Yes, you, you could use the twine to cut it in twain. That's true. That's true. Use the twine to cut it in twain. Two twi 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 twi. But Kirsten, I'm gonna prep you. I'm gonna task you with taking two or three of these little red pepper rings, and you're gonna muddle them Ooh, with a muddler. With a muddler at the bottom of the glass, and then add two ounces of. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do half an ounce of. I think I've been beaten. <gasps> no way. How is it sticky? This isn't even sugary. Right. Hand me that coaster. About lining the thing with uh, coaster. Sambuca. Do we have sambuca down here? I do. I have a, actually have sambuca right over here. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! It's over in the botanicals corner of the stream. It is sambuca. Sambuca is kind of like a. It's kind of licoricey. Ooh. It's a licoricey Ooh. spirit. Interesting. Wastrel says, "Slice it in Mark Twain." Get it, Mark Twain? <laughs> Slice I got in that. Mark Twain. So, so how do you want me to get those out of there? Get what out of there? Peppers. Well, normally I'd say use your teeth. However, we absolutely have a bar. Ooh! Would you like to use the trident? I want to use the trident. I'm use the trident. I'm going to use. We're gonna the play trident. a little game called "Get the Peppers Out of the Get the Peppers Out of the Bottle," starring the corrupted Jasper. Oh, that's one. Excellent. Excellent. How many do you think I should grab? Eh, two or three. Oh, actually, this like goes. This oh, do we put it in our glass or in the shaker? In a shaker. In a shaker. I'm going in the shaker. Wait, uh, do we need other of these? Um, I think we'll use a little bit of the tequila. Okay, I just that'll also throw him off. Mm -hmm. from the, uh, Absolutely. Let's thank just you. Thank you. He doesn't think that tastes like soap. It's time for Poseidon. Excellent execution there. I don't think she failed even once. No, no, I did not. That was very, very good. Absolutely, indeed. Okay, so the next ingredient that we're gonna need well, first. We got a muddle. Yes. Oh, Wrong side of the shaker. Oh, yes. What we'll do in the meantime is... Kaylin, can I task you with grabbing some ice cubes? Uh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Are you okay over there? You've been kind of kneeling down a bit. Well, I can provide pillows to lean on. Uh, no thank you. Like, Sounds good. I need somebody to lean on. Yeah, like a body pillow. Body body. <laughs> uh, do you Here, have actually, a kind of cube? 
Yeah, we're going to go with a big cube and then a couple of the small cubes there. Usually what I do is I like to do that in our shaker glasses. And in the meantime, I'm going to correct our current recipe over here. I'm going to write it on the board. Glug's not going to know what the hell he's doing. Oh, no. There should be a green container in there, and then the big gray container. Okay, so... The big gray is giving me trouble. No, I don't like that one anyways. That's okay. Okay, okay. I need it. Put one large cube into the big shaker. Okay, and here's your green. Yeah. And two little cubes into the big shaker as well. If the I can... Inside of the shaker. Are you struggling there? Not so strong now, are you? One who couldn't open up the pepper jar. Mmm. We each Spice have our own strengths and weaknesses. Save, not a save. Yes. It's true. It's true. I will trade you back. the cubes. Indeed. We will for these the other line. cubes. Thank you kindly. Mm-hmm. I really like this ice cube tray. Which one? The one I am currently holding. The three. The matador. What are you saying here? Poseidon time. Tequila. A Daki Maka. Daki Makaru, perhaps? For leaning upon? What's a Daki Makaru? A Daki Makara is basically a body pillow uh, of a character. A I see. I that see. is usually not safe for work. So what we're doing here not safe for stream. is we're taking all the cubes and stuff and putting it into one tie side of the shaker. These are very slowly going to come up to temperature. They're going to let off a little bit of water. It's probably the nuanced part of cocktail shaking. Some people swear by it. I never swear on stream, so. Fair. I do. It was yeah. a lie. So the next thing we've got to do is actually, what does it say? Oh, is that a big cube in here? Yeah, freeze. Got you. So next, what we need is we have the two ounces of the reposada tequila. tequila. So I think what we'll do is we'll split, right? We're going to use. Oh, I see the habanero tincture. Yes, actually. So we'll do. The half an ounce of the habanero. Half an ounce of the cilantro mezcal. And then we're going to do, an, or let's see, full ounce of the mezcal. Then we're going to do an ounce of the, oh my god, it's the Fresno-infused vodka. And then this also calls for a habanero tincture as well. So we're actually going to add a little bit of that in the end. Okay. And we'll do about half an ounce of that. I think that'll be perfect. So I'm sorry, said... full ounce. I keep getting myself mixed up. Mixed up. Full ounce. So, full ounce of this? Indeed, indeed. And um, because I catch myself going a little crazy sometimes here on stream, every recipe will be posted afterwards in the video description of the VOD that pops up on YouTube and in the Discord server as well. There's a drinks channel. Things pop up there every once in a while. Dare I'd say, every single week. Okay. Cool. So So what we just put in there is some cilantro reposado tequila. Oh, wait. Did I not do the mezcal? Hmm. I don't think you did. That's okay. We'll throw them off even more. It's okay. I think we, we put the wrong ingredient in there, but really, if it tastes fine, then nothing yeah. else goes wrong. Nothing will ever go okay, wrong. Okay, so... Okay, so next what we'll do is we'll do the full ounce of... Is the Fresno lemonade, yeah? I believe so. If the that's Fresno the case, lemonade. where... And this will count towards our sour mix, which we need a full ounce of anyway. So actually, we could probably put a little bit more in there, come to think of it. Fresno aid. Fresno aid. Oh, I Fresno forgot we put it over there. Ooh, yes. there's a command. Good, good. Do it. Do it, they say. Do it now. So we put the we put the Fresno peppers at the bottom and muddled them up. Now we're gonna put the Fresno aid, Fresno infused lemonade, in as well to take in the place of the one ounce of sour mix that we need in there. We're gonna be about since we only did one ounce of the tequila. Oh, it was tequila. Mm-hmm. Oh, I read reposado and for some reason thought mezcal. Yeah, because it gets some mixed uh, up sometimes. Reposado tequila. So we were right Perfect. The first. We were right. So we don't have to make it yet. We're perfect. Correct. Um, but so we're gonna we're gonna be about an, an ounce behind. So what do we think? Do we want to put more aid in there, or perhaps more cantaloupe puree? I think the cantaloupe's probably gonna be really really sweet. So I think maybe we just double down on spice. Mm-hmm. Double down on the heat. Double down on the heat. Do we want to add the Fresno vodka in there as well? It's gonna be two full ounces of alcohol, so I, it might make it more noticeable for him. If that's the case, why don't we add a little bit of the habanero aid? Ooh, because that'll go well with the tincture. We could do it. Ooh, yes. Not only that, but the spice mm. will throw it off. There we go. Can't taste anything behind it. Habanero aid. Habanero is clocking in at here. about 150,000 to 575,000 Scoville units. That's burn your tongue units. Oh, yeah. Very, very burning units. All right, we'll do a full ounce of that, and that'll be perfect. Yep. And then I will prepare on the other side. We're going to need, I think it's a full ounce. 
It's a full ounce of the habanero tincture, which is just habanero peppers in blackberry jam, says the container. That's a lie. It's vodka. It is. It is. <sighs> habanero. Power. Oh my god. <laughs> that is potent. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Yeah. It's the smelling line. Smelling line. Swap places. Ooh. Smelling line. Ah. Oh. Good thing I cashed in my courtesy sniffs. It actually kind of smells nice. Probably because it's in a blackberry jam jar. Half an ounce. About 15 milliliters for those who live across the pond. <laughs> Smell line. Choo choo. You guys are so cool. Thanks, Floral Mercy. Aww. That's an excellent email we used ounce. there. Where'd you get it? Ooh, nice. Okay, so we've got we've got our pepper rings muddled. We've got our two ounces equivalent of spice infusion. Mm -hmm. We need an ounce and a half of cantaloupe puree. All right. Don't ask me how you're going to measure that out, but we're going to make it work. Um, it's fairly liquidy. It Perfect. It's fairly liquidy. Mm, that's got a nice. So mm. I may be able to actually pour it into the Absolutely. other half of this jigger. One and a half ounces, or about forty-four milliliters. Ounces. So that's like there's no indicator on this particular measuring the jigger. So like just like get it close to the top, I guess. Yeah, and I mean usually for jiggers, yeah, it's one ounce on the bottom and two ounces on the top. This one's actually a metric jigger, so it's twenty five milliliters on one side and fifty milliliters on the other. So mm -hmm. we're, we're kind of running things a little bit short. I think we could probably put a little bit in there. Just a tip. perfect. I'm gonna eyeball it. I think it'll be good. Like every good recipe. Yeah, honestly, it's the first time we make it anyway. So if we make it quote unquote wrong, it's still technically correct from the baseline that we've established, which is none. Yes. Perfect. All you right. can't lower your. You can't be disappointed if you don't have ah. any expectations. We'll do a little bit of cleanup over here. Uh, this is necessary. This is necessary. Down. This is necessary. We'll yes. put this over on the side, and I will put this back in the refrigerator. So, I oh, that was the other point too. Oh yes, thank you so kindly. Greatly appreciated. This one could probably use a little bit of a cleaning. Put a little bit of water in there, and just kind of like um. What's this other rectangular? What's that? There's another rectangle. Are we done the other rectangle is lime juice, in case we need it. Oh, okay. And I have all of you for the bucket. I'm going to pour the rest of this in there to kind of clean it off a little bit and do a little bit of cleaning. Perfect. The bucket. All right. It's the spare bucket. We use for pretty much whatever we want. So. Karen, do you think I'm good to shake this? Hmm. Can she lift you up, says Stella? I, no, I would not be surprised if every other person in this apartment right now could pick me right up off the ground. It I wouldn't happen. want to try that in this. It might hurt well, somebody. Yes. There are knives around here. Not only that, but there's also a lot of glass. That's <laughs> what it takes to be at the bar. You gotta be cutthroat. You gotta be cut glass. You gotta be glass glass. Ass glass? Slash, slash glass? Glass mash. Mash. Anyways. So, what do we need to do now? I, I think we need to rim the glass with some with some salt. Yep. So what we're gonna do is we got a little bit of Ramona Sambuca over here. It's gonna be kind of it's kind of licoricey. I don't know exactly how how sticky it is. Because it also says to use an orange slice as well. Mm, we did. Oh, actually, wait. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. It says rub the rim of a rocks glass. On it an says rim slice sambuca. And rim the glass with sambuca and anise sea salt. Oh, rim it with sambuca and anise sea salt. I don't have any anise sea salt, unfortunately, but I do. We can make. Do you have regular sea salt, or should ooh? What if Let's we use the orange? We could do to ooh. It's right here. Oh, is it over here? Yes, I moved it. I'm the top taking get over here. Dahin. I moved it. And now, could you perhaps hand me the cutting board and the knife? I, I wasn't lying the about the knife. Glass ass. Give him the rim job. Stella says, try to cook with Cameroon on your back for as long as you can carry him. Oh my goodness, that sounds, feels like it feels like a lot. Now, this is a special kind of orange. Is it a blood orange? It oh. is a blood orange. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Let's control F5 that. Can you cl click the five? Yes. Oh, yes. I can Nobody also move the boom arm. Oh my goodness, I forgot we can move the boom arm. Could I'm still getting used arms? to this new angle. Got some blood oranges. Oh. Gonna do a little slice of this. Do another one. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh! It smells really good, too. Take a closer look at it. You know, we could also probably... After oh, we this rim, is yours! Rim yeah. the glass! After we rim the glass, too... 
Just like that, or? And just kind of rub the juice all the way on the outside. I guess it's gonna have a bit, a little bit of a red color. You know what? I have an even better idea. Ooh. I'm gonna garnish it with one of the oranges. I'll yes, throw them I off can. Completely. I can, and it'll also make completely. it easier to rim. Said That's glass. true. And you know what? Honestly, I think we've already kind of rimmed it with the orange slice. I don't know if it's worth doing the sambuca. We yeah. Could, though. Let's just do the salt instead. Yeah. Because we can we can have the tahini. We, we, we have the tahini. Tahin. That's what I'll do. Is I'll how the hell? I'll do a little bit how of a rimming over here. I love cocktail shaker. Oh, it's simple. So, go for it. I'm not even gonna use the the thing this time. Tahinit, 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 tahinit. Oh, more than awesome. Apparently, took a photo. What? Flora Mercy twenty four says, "I shall eat a non bloody, bloody orange, orange now. now." Honestly, I will eat all the non bloody oranges that I want to. Bloody oranges on my stream. I'd never heard of it. Or so they say. So that's a very. That's an adequate, a, adequately the tahini glass. If I do oh, say yes. so myself, right. feels good. Feels good. All then, right, let's take let's take the blood orange, and we'll put the we'll put the little garnish on. Keep that there, and then you will conduct the shakeage accordingly. I will. Let's see. Bucket let's see. time. All right. Put these guys into buckets. Bucket time. Bucket time. Why am I worrying about this type of a shaker? It's vacuum sealed. I will see the knife for later. Ah, yes. Oh, feel free to go absolutely mad with that. Oh yeah, because one thing with this type of shaker is it actually forms a seal. Oh yeah. And then, once you want to break the seal, Kind of take it out just like that. Ah. Ooh, I have never heard that make that sound before. Yeah, it's because I scraped the metal. All right, let's switch right. to the other angle. Yes. And we're going to strain this over top. We're going to double strain it. So let's move this little John over here. Yeah. Get it a little so bit. I'm going to need this again. And then I you? do believe Where's I saw. Where is the sweet spot? Where is the... Sweet spot. Sweet spot. Excellent sweet spot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double strain it. So we'll you put need... one strainer over top and, and put this guy there too. So what you can do is you can kind of push with your thumb this part on the Hawthorne strainer and it's gonna create one slight straining seal and then we'll put it on the other one for that other straining seal. Ooh. Well that cantaloupe puree is, oh my goodness. Oh, it really wants to get in there. It really does. Oh we my need goodness. a bigger strainer. Oh, let's see. Maybe we do need a bigger strainer. <sighs> We're gonna need a bigger strainer. Maybe? We're gonna need a bigger boat. Can I, can I just like... Oh yeah, that is very, very viscous. Here, that is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to get as much of that out of there. I'm gonna use a paper towel. We just use a bar spoon, but I think I'm just gonna kinda rub the rest of the puree out. I guess I didn't puree it enough. Here, you are, you are special. So we're gonna put you back inside the shaker. I'm going to put you in the buckets, and then we're just going to grab the other strainer <laughs> and use this one instead. All right, as you work. Ah. This is a choky, a chonky melon syrup. Chonky melon indeed. There we go. Chonker melon. That's looking good. It really is. All right, now I'm just going to kind of like... It is chonky indeed. I'm gonna get all you out of there. Eh. You know what? You wanna be that way? Man, that is I think chonky. it's okay if it has a little bit of pulp. If you don't tell him, I won't tell him. I won't. I won't tell him. All right. Also, as we have Glenn come back up, since this is a spicy stream, mm -hmm. uh, do you think he should also grab some milk? Considering that we'll get rid of the... It's gonna get pretty spicy. Oh yeah, we can bring the milk up here and have it on standby if we want to. It might be necessary. Yeah, oh, we got milk. I think y'all brought milk, right? Yeah, I yeah. brought a whole gallon, plus some half and half, because that actually works better because of the iron milk Absolutely. All right. I pretty much brought everything but milk. All right. I, I can't believe it's not milk. I still can't believe it's not milk after all these years. All these years. All right. I still can't believe it's not butter either. On topic though. Right? All right. All right. 
I got yeah. food. Ooh, we've also got food. So naturally, we're dealing with very spicy components here. So we also brought some pound cake, bread, good for counteracting spice, fruit. Perhaps not helpful at did, did counteracting spice, but it is fruit, so that might Actually, offset the spices. Actually, has been known to uh, cut down on spice. Really? Spices. Good stuff. And lemonade. And walnuts. It's not I thought walnuts. those were not sesame. Walnuts. Oh, they're... The honey roasted sesame sticks. Honey roasted sesame sticks. I gotta try one of those. Ah. Uh. Uh. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's like a little, a little salty, sesame, sesame y, and it got a crunch to it. Yeah. Really good bar snack. Mm hmm. See mm. how well it works. Perfectly indeed. Okay. All right. We need to retrieve Glenn Boy and bring him upstairs. In the meantime, a moment. anybody like pound cake? Huh. I'm good for now. The, pound cake yeah. of fruit. I will put these off to the side oh, until we feel we the need up? to dig in. Cameron, during the holidays, mm -hmm. you should do a fruitcake episode. You know we could. Because there is, I've seen fruitcake martini recipes before. Not only that, but a, some people actually soak their fruitcake in what I can only describe as an obscene amount of brandy. Oh my god. Dude, the brandy, like, honestly, during the holiday season, if you're gonna do anything, you might as well do something alcoholic, because, like, it's the holiday season. Like, we're just trying to deal with it all collectively. And it's coming. Okay. Okie dokie. One second, I'm just cleaning out one of our shakers on the sides so that we are ready for the next cocktail. There's a little bit of shove sugar. it in the bucket. Bucket. Put that in the bucket, just like that. We're pretty much shove it in there. the socket bucket. Put it in the All bucket right. bucket. All right. Can we put this off to the side? Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me get this bucket out of your way so you don't. Let me off. also scooch the yeah, boom arm too. Yeah, your trash. Okie dokie. I'm gonna scooch on in. Hi guys! Hi! Hi! You can take the balaclava off. Can I take it off? Yes. You can take it off. Take it all off. Take it all off, big I boy. Took it. <sighs> That's my line. <laughs> no my. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my. We're halfway to yeah, reading Smut on stream. <laughs> all right. Halfway there. We're just getting closer. All right. So what have I missed? What is this concoction? Glenn, this, this is, is a cock and or mocktail called the Matador. Okay. Can you guess what's in it first? Well. Take a gander. Take a sm Take a smell. My first thought is it smells like wood. It's that tahini. The tahini on the rim. It's that rim job that makes it smell like wood. <laughs> you give me a really nice rim job, bud. Uh, actually, actually, your girlfriend I was did. The one who gave the rim job. Oh. Good night, everybody. Also, just note. Sometimes I do. So I kind of like the blood three wheel my own relationship. Side. It's beautiful. <laughs> is this freshly cut blood orange? I assume it is. Freshly cut yes. blood orange, only the finest. Attitude, sure. altitude changes the smell too. And this guy's too damn tall. This guy is literally an entire. I had to adjust the camera angle right as he got here. And I was like, oh shoot, his head's not on stream. What do I do? So, Six foot, no it's one. It's so cares. funny because, like, I feel According like the height that. difference isn't that dramatic. But then I look at the camera, I'm like, holy shit, I'm well, tall. Hun, don't you always quote saying you're six foot, no one cares? Yeah, I am. Six foot, no one cares. Full yeah. transparency here. Um, I'm only 5'6. I'm a very average sized male. Who's taller? I think you are here. Yeah. You are. <laughs> Finally. Well, hold on, I have to be in the same horizontal plane as you are. Observe our foreheads. Who is taller? Uh, I, think it, I think it's her. I, I think it is. I think I'm the smallest person here. Finally. I am the smallest person here. I'm happy with that. Excuse me. She's most definitely taller. Okay. Agreed. Anyhow, should All I right. take a sip of this and stop just staring at it? What Finally. does what does the matador? The matador? The matador. Matador. Mate with the door. Don't. <laughs> Don't mate with the door. You know, it's attitude changes the cocktail, too. Thoughts? That's got some kick to it. It's got some kick. Oh. What kind of kick? Can you guess which What's pepper or peppers are in the inside? The terms okay. of the challenges are thus. Okay. What's in it? Question, am I allowed to know how many peppers are in here? Go ahead, ask the question. Oh, there. Well, okay. My gut says habanero. Cause that hits like a truck. Ding ding. That's one. That's one of them. Okay, there are more. How many more peppers are there? One more pepper. Okay. And what are my options? It's the. We got Fresno, jalapeno, and serrano. Yeah, it's not jalapeno. I'm gonna take another sip. It, it does really sting though. Holy crap. 
Habanera. Habanera. That'll do it. <laughs> Feel free to like lip smack your lips like right into the microphone. All right, now enough of that. Yes, give them. It's like the opposite. Give them that good, good <laughs> you want me to as for you? Give them that good ASMR. Give them that good. So I'm not the only one hmm. that says ASMR. <laughs> Y'all look so funny. Thanks, Anna. Oh. Uh, I don't taste jalapeno. Because the thing is, I don't know if I've ever had Fresno. I don't. I'm not that familiar with uh, Serrano either. To be fair, the only reason we have those two peppers was because Whole Foods had those peppers available. I didn't even know that they existed as peppers. I was Same. in there in the store and I was like, Fresno and Serrano Scoville units, and they had Scoville units. So I was like, mm. yeah, these are spicy peppers. Okay. My gut says Fresno, but I am going purely guessing. Ding, ding, ding. That's the other one. Damn. That's a Fresno. Yep, yep. Good because stuff. I've Fresno never, habanero. I've never had Fresno, so I don't know what it tastes like. But you that's... are two for two right now, my friend. Damn. And now you guess the blood, you guess the blood orange, too. Yeah, yeah. so. And yeah. Easy. Yeah. yeah, easy, easy. <laughs> we'll give that to you. I'm not sure. I. What was the thing on the ring called? Tahin. I, tahin. It's the salt. Yeah. You ever had tahini before? A lot of people spicy, put it on candy, surprisingly enough. Spicy, sour, salty. Spicy, sour, salty. Mm. It's unique. It's unique. If you've never had it before, I wouldn't have expected you to get it. Yeah, I would not have gotten that. I've never had it before. Oh, yeah. Deal. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, gave us the ASMR tastings. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Let me let me go in for another good sip. Give him another. Give him a good sip. Yeah, go ahead. Get him. Oh, how's it taste, big boy? Oh, 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 oh my god, oh, that one. Oh my god, oh, oh god. Wrong pipe. Don't follow me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Something about that didn't, that didn't go to the right place. Question is there alcohol in here? I don't know, is there? I don't know. I can't taste it if there is. I don't think there Which is. One was it the wrong mm -hmm. one? I don't think there is. That's like, if that's a mocktail, that's, I mean, a, that's a big question. So if we've revealed that now, it pretty much ruined the whole shit. Yeah. yeah. There's more in it though. Okay. What? Okay. I have no idea what if, else. I if you think there's alcohol in there, what type of alcohol? The only ones that we have here would be some sort of vodka, some sort of tequila, or some sort of mezcal. Just a quick overview. I'm not... Vodka is very neutral, kind of alcoholic tasting. Tequila. I don't know. It's kinda grassy. Kind of grassy. So, yeah, and I mean, it can kind of be because it's, it's also a clear alcohol. I know what it smells like. And mezcal is smoky. I've never had, uh, like, obviously I don't drink, so. Mm -hmm. Do you taste any air? Spices. Other than. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Nice! It's bound to happen. Let the demons out. <laughs> Let the spirits out of you. Because, <laughs> like, if there is alcohol in here, I cannot taste it. Okay. So, like, because I can't taste it, my. Wait. Oh. You alright? <clears throat> oh. 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 The suspense is eating me from what? the inside out. What is that? What is what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is what? There is something in there. <laughs> Jesus. What, what kind of flavor are you getting? Describe the notes. Is it is it salty? Grassy? Earthy? Smoky? Tell us something. I don't think it's pressure. Sorry, no pressure. <laughs> you spit all over me and the drink. That could be what's rimming the glass. Ew. We won't tell you. Oh, ew. Okay, no, it's not my spit then. We'll, we'll give you that one too. I did not okay. slobber all over the. Okay, rim. my first gut because I can't really taste it would be like vodka or something, just because you say it's more neutral. But like, there's something in there that I taste, but I can't identify. So maybe it's not vodka. I don't know. Let me. I'm happy I got the peppers. Like, that was me, all I care about. Let me ask you a question. Sure. I will present to you two containers. This is cilantro reposado tequila. Smell it. Oh, God! It probably smells disgusting. It kind of does. It smells like you cracked open a marker and <laughs> you're like. It smells like olive brine, really. And this is basil infused mezcal. Can I smell the scalp? That's... Oh yeah, smell no means. It's a smell fest over here. Ooh. It smells like my first thought is okay, old. Would you like to smell the scalp? Sure, why not? My first thought is like it smells like an old person's home. It, I dig that. It smells like a wine that's almost now, vinegar. Does this? 
taste like an old person's no, home? No. no. Oh, Does so it taste like something else? If you had to guess what's in it, or if it's none of the above, you can still go with your vodka option. I don't, because... It will be either the Fresno vodka or the Habanero vodka, if one of those is in there. Because those are the two peppers that are in the drink. Well, yeah. I wouldn't actually be surprised if, the, if both of these are in here. Because I don't know if you mixed it, if you used the yellow lemonades or not, the pepperades. But, God, there, there's something in there that like I can't identify, and the problem is I try to break it down, but then the spice kicks in, so I can't identify it. I think it's time to make the reveal. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what's in there are a couple different of the alcohols. We have the habanero tincture which is the habanero vodka. Okay. There is the, I believe we put a little bit of the jala, we didn't put the jalapeno We didn't put any jala, right? no, because we only use Fresno and uh, habaneros. Mm -hmm. I think we I used a little, a little, little bit, bit of the Fresno, Fresno vodka. I believe we did. We, we did also use put the habanero the and- The cilantro infused tequila. In uh, okay. Now I think that might be the thing that's giving, uh, giving you the, the, the weird vibes. Yeah. Yeah, that might be it. Now, Okay, so you're pretty much halfway. You're like halfway point at this point. Oh, or half, half still of, more. It's basically it's basically two for four, I'd say. I'd what say. Is and the, the alcohol stuff is not not Glenn's strong suit, so I understand that. Now there are two fruits in this cocktail as well, it's and not counting the blood orange. <laughs> okay, I was not counting the blood orange. Blood. Well, I mean, technically this is all fruit because peppers are fruits. This is true. Non spicy fruits in there as well. Okay. Well, okay, my gut is kind of gonna kind of go citrusy here. Okay, so okay, like, there is one citrus in there. I'm sorry. Incredible. Oh. You're just cooking up literally hell inside of there, aren't you? It's a spicy, it's a spicy drink. It's a hell of a drink. But again, it smells like wood. <laughs> like every time I whiff, I'm like, does it ah, taste like wood? More wood. I mean, do you, like do, you, do you want to take a sip or did you already have a sip? I didn't have he a sip. He did not. Sip. I did not sip this libation. Sip it. Can I try some when you're done? Whoa. Do you see what I mean with the wood smell, though? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god! So the habanero is hitting me all at once. Yeah, see? Oh my god. It's really That's hard. not jalapeno. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. You know, now that I've gotten past it. I think wow. you're starting to cry. I'm actually starting to tear up a little bit. It's I'm like starting to tear up. It's a peach from hell. It's oh a what? <laughs> I do get that though. I understand gummy peach. It's not peach. That's not the fruit. Yeah, I was no, just about to say. Peach. I don't think there's. You said Wait, citrusy. Can I try it? Sure. Oh my god. Um, what? We who what are about to die. What citruses do you have available you. here that are not the blood orange? Okay, what we have available to us are the blood oranges, lemons, and limes. My gut says lemon. Purely color? Ding! Hey! Ding, 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 ding. We got it, we got it. <laughs> and said there is lemon fruit, in there. There's another fruit in there. That's yeah. not such a More than awesome is saying, can't wait till we get to the spiciest bit. Carolina Reaper? Mm-hmm. Um, Ooh, Thor's right, like, I can really die. <laughs> he, uh, can take, he can take you some. Thank you. Who wants Ooh. it? Please help. Oh, well. Sesame! What are those? They are... Please Honey describe what these are again. Honey roasted uh, sesame sticks. Sesame sticks. They are very, very tasty. And they do kind of work. Mm. Don't you don't get any yet. You're tasting the cocktail. What other fruit? If you have our time, we'll what, give you a hint. What other, what other fruits do you have? I will, not, I will not share that. You have to guess a particular type of fruit, and I will oh continue giving more details afterwards. Yeah. I do apologize. I was trying to grab that. No, you were, trying to, you were trying to twirl it <laughs> At around. At my bar? Yes. I think not. <laughs> hmm. Where's the knife? Over here, behind me. Hmm. 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 Oh. You have to belch into the mic next time. Um. We can blame floral for that. <laughs> uh, I will. Mm -hmm. Is there pineapple in here? No. No? no really? No, no. So that w does seem like a good idea. It would be very good, and there are there is a actually we can put a pineapple one. There. Also, is that like the lemon pulp a little bit that I see in there? No, actually. Oh. Well, actually, that might be a little bit of the lemon pulp. Yeah, actually, it's probably a little bit of the lemon pulp. We use the lemonade, but we also use something else. Okay. Um. God, that kicked like a mule. <laughs> this one's out of left field. Ooh, yes. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, what the fruit? Yes. Um, what is something that you wouldn't think that would be in there? Apples. Not no. the right type of fruit. 
Okay. I, Guess I, more. Spitball it. Okay. Uh, We're gonna get to it. Okay. Uh, grapes. No, no. wrong type of fruit. Um. Uh. No, that's not fruit. That's berry. Um. Okay. Okay. Colloquial berries as fruits. We will count because I don't know what you think is a berry and what isn't. Strawberries, because... blueberries. No. 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 Okay. None of that stuff. Not even um, remotely this. Because you would have more of a pink color. Uh, what was though. was was it start with in terms of letters? The family is. Large and round. Watermelon? Not no. watermelon. Same family, though. Well, I guess the state designation. Melon? Yes, it, it is a melon, is but a melon, what type of what melon? Type? What type of melon? I don't know. There's like that green. Uh, a kiwi? No. What so, color is the drink? Kiwi is a melon? Mango? That's not a That's melon. That's not a melon. Uh, they just start with M. Yeah. God, I'm bored. Shit, like, I don't know what all is considered a melon. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna look super dumb on stream. I'm gonna list off a couple different melons. Wait. I could reveal it with a pun. Do it! I got... I, I got nothing. So... Sorry, I'm trying to think of how I want to phrase this. I don't think you can't, Alope. Uh, it's cantaloupe. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I fucked it up. I don't think you can. Hello. Damn it. <laughs> back under the bar. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, I think when I said mango, I was thinking of cantaloupe, but I couldn't think of the word for it. Because, like, I thought, like, that orange melon. Glenn, what you have imbibed is a drink called the Matador, which we actually changed around specifically to try to screw with you. <laughs> But it contains, in at least some parts, you have habanero tincture in there, okay. you have Fresno tincture in there, you have tincture, I just mean vodka, it's, it's the vodka. Okay. We have a little bit of, I believe we used the habanero lemonade in there, which subs in for a sour mix. We have cantaloupe puree in there, crushed up Fresno peppers. Hands the butler. Um, ooh! We also use blood orange juice on the outside of the rim to rim it with tahini. And I think it was, I think it was it. It might have been it. Yeah, it was like pureed cantaloupe, mm -hmm. the Fresno and habanero vodkas like, and lemonades. Ooh, and the cilantro infused and reposado tequila. Reposado yeah. is just it's oaked just a bit more. Uh, ooh, kiwi. Kiwi. I have some I have some full kiwis downstairs too if we need that. Can someone have me a grape? Oh. Grape. Uh, Wait, that's a cherry. That's a cherry. Oh. Those are cherries, dude. Mm. I'll take a cherry. Mm. We'll take some cherries over here. We got cherry. Dude. We got grapefruit. Cherry. We got orange. I had we got no, listen. I gave this my candy. my best bet. This was tough. Also, oh, like, on the holy saying. moly, this thing kicks though. Mm -hmm. So right now, we're at habanero level spice, and yeah. we're technically at Fresno level spice. We haven't tried the serrano pepper yet. Yeah. Which, that has less heat than the, I need mess. Than the I habanero. Need to okay, so so far, a little bit of a roundup of where we've come from so far. Ugh. Welcome to everybody tuning in from across the seven seas, so and perhaps more. Whoever wants to finish this. Oh, give me that shit. I want to put this in my mouth. Oh, jeez. Um, can you hand me the bucket? I <clears throat> cracked the bucket. <clears throat> Oh, what's all the liquid in here? Oh my I just goodness. I realized the cherries have pets to use. They do. And water. That they do. makes me happy. My goodness. Oh. This cocktail called the Matador is spicy. Honestly, actually, it's very spicy. Yeah. And I get cantaloupe. Just... Cantaloupe is the other one I get there. Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Yeah, and I get a here. little bit of the orange. Ooh. It would it be easier over here? Sure. Perfect. Salud. Cheers. Salud. <laughs> Don't worry about the witch mat. So like, yeah, that if I had to, scared me when I uh, came on the stream. I have a mat down here that says "Beware," and there's a witch on it, and she's like, <laughs> "Hey, but today's the perfect day. Beware." Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is very strongly spicy. The habanero is like it's 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 a it's a donkey punch. Oh. It's it's a kick. It's a kick of a mule. Whatever ass is out there that's pro like hitting you with their feet and hooves. Wait. That's what's doing it. Except it's in my mouth. Professor X, I have a question. How did I do on my exam? All How'd you all? do? Yeah, like, how, how did I do all in all? You guessed, I think, more or less everything. Uh, except, <laughs> I'd say out of the things that I actually expected you to get, I think you got, like... You basically like, got everything except for except one. The yeah, there was the cantaloupe was, like, the only one I couldn't get. I think you did pretty so, good. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Again, the tequila, there's no way I could have gotten that. Yeah, I don't yeah. drink, so I don't know what to look for. Absolutely. I, uh, I got an idea for this, uh, 
this variation on the matador. Mm -hmm. We got some, uh, some booze, some not. We could call it the mock and bowl. The mock and bowl? Cause it's mocking. Cause it's yeah. a, ooh. I will provide after the terms of the stream are over, the original recipe for the matador that we have completely bastardized and replaced it with the mock and mule. As so has been named here with uh, ingredients. I've said them like three times now, so I'm not going to say them again. Mock and mule. I'm going to put that on my board so I remember. Recipe should be uh, on do... in the channel afterwards, right? Yeah. It'll take me a little while to put all the recipes and stuff up there. I'm just a really, really busy person. But if you pop in there, it will be there eventually. Probably this weekend. All I got right, a so relatively free weekend. Next drink choice, Ed. Oh my so gosh. Gonna be blindfolded you do time. have to finish it though. You guys are gonna need some Pepto. Pepto Bismol? We don't have any Pepto Bismol. Instead, we have milk, half and half potatoes, mac and cheese. Wait, we have to finish it? To finish. Oh, we have to finish this. Uh, we have to finish this. Oh, I'm, I'm getting there. There's actually, there's a lot of sediment and stuff in here. I think it's because the cantaloupe puree was very, very, very full and chunky. That's part of the pulp that you were getting. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And a little well, bit of the lemonade, too. It. it was more all seeing. Mm -hmm. like... But it is good. I'd say it's mostly like spicy cantaloupe. And I've never really had spicy like melon before, but that's mostly what I'm getting there. There's other notes in there that are a little weird. But to be honest, the, the tahini is super duper strong to okay. me and it kind of overpowers any other like notes that i might be getting from like the cilantro or the tequila specifically or the other peppers it's all spice i can't distinguish that there are two peppers in there read, like part of the challenge there was like mm -hmm. like i was trying to break down the flavors but the problem is the habanero is so overpowering that like all you get is the spice you couldn't really get any of the other notes and that's yeah. exactly what i wanted when we were mixing this up yeah and to be honest once you kind of get past that first like ah it's not too bad afterwards, I think. No, it's um, not. Although it is kind of, it's, it's laying back there and every single time, it's actually interesting. <laughs> the habanero spice, it like kind of pulls back. It doesn't stick around for very, very long. It's like there, it's all encompassing, and then it eventually just kind of disappears if you don't throw up first. Floral mercy, wait, we have to finish it? Yes, we have to finish it. Ah. <laughs> uh, fun thing about floral mercy, there is no mercy here. There is no mercy. And Only there's no flowers spice. either. Where Let's put the tahini over there. Somewhere, uh, somewhere, somewhere. I got you. Do we want to continue libating this to get libating? Is that a thing? Mm hmm. Libating libations. Cheers, stream. We have cordials. We have cordial glasses if we'd like to share it amongst the rest of us if we want to. That I'm passing. Okie dokie. Glenn, do you dare? Oh, I'm sorry. Ass. That has you know what? It has. And Kaylin's. Well, you've got some already. Are you sure? It do you is. dare accept this challenge? I do. Because it somebody knight this be woman. Sipping on it the rest of the night. It, it has the spice that a 12 gauge shotgun has recoil. Cheers. 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 I don't know if I'm taking this all down at once. We'll see. I could not, no. I'm a sipper. I didn't do the whole thing, but. I wish I could move the boom arm over here upwards Big so cake. that someone oh. could get my angle. Tahini. The look of regret in his eyes was priceless. Tahini. I will say, oh my God. just from like a side angle, it you were like, turning red. It looked like you started peering into the next universe. <laughs> you was. <laughs> Ah, you okay? Ah, I'm bleeding fire! Please excuse me, everybody. We're not even on the Carolina Reaper yet. Ah, uh, and that's gonna be fun. Ooh. But see, the thing is, I wish there was steam I, flying out of your ears right now. Because the thing is, I mean, I'm sure I, that, like, I if you record this well, for YouTube, you can animate it in. I am not. And now we need spicier. <laughs> Yeah, because here's the thing. The interesting thing here is... Please, observations from Glenn. Get up here. Get up here, big boy. I am not as affected because I am the spice boy. I like spice. I like I, I like I like hot things. <clears throat> I literally just overloaded my chili last night with what spice. Did Anna, did we wake you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, she was, uh, she was oh, awake. Oh my god. No, I'm still in the middle of doing emails. We were, oh, hanging, we were hanging out. Hey, hey, what's up? Spicy. Hey, what's up, babe? Uh, I was gone. I drank it. Oh, you drank it all? It's hey, all gone. We still have a little bit. Yeah, right. There's a little bit. <laughs> he is. I'm, I'm so. Orange in it. 
There was so much saliva in my full, oh, full honestly. That smells bad. Full honestly, I have so much saliva in my mouth right now. <laughs> my body feels so hot. My eyes are like watering right now, and all I want to do is like wipe the sweat off my brow, but I can't. I've been touching peppers. I do not dare put these hands anywhere near my face right now. Uh, I can't do it. My own safety. Oh water? my goodness. Here, I got you. What'd you say? Where's my butter? My water? What are you doing? Stop! What are you doing? Come here. Get your hands away from me. <laughs> Woman, get your hands away from me. Anna, bless him. Bless him like the Pope. Oh I'm my sorry. goodness. <laughs> I bless you Stop. in the name of Jesus Stop Christ. That. Stop it. Father. Anna, why? Fiance, <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Amen. Is this what our marriage is going to be like? I don't understand. Anna, you're, you're throwing water Oh, on. there's water everywhere. You threw water all over the bar. No. I miss Pikachu. These demons <laughs> must no. be exercised! Anna, Anna, no you didn't. You were happy. <laughs> Stop! Oh, come on! Why me? May the spirit be with you. Uh, there are certainly some spirits here. Jesus. Uh, that was beautiful. Hey, man. Hi there. <clears throat> My name's Cameron with an X. Welcome to the bar. With an X. This bar is getting messy. It may seem like I'm crying. I'm not. I'm actually insanely happy. He just ate some really. He just drank something really spicy. In any case, now that the act is over, whew, that's what habanero peppers will do to you. Ooh, what's going on over there? Ooh. That's probably okay. Oh, the shake your thing fell over. It's chill. That's what habanero peppers will do to you. Clocking in at about anywhere between 125,000 to 575,000 Scoville units. Can somebody do a Google search of a Carolina Reaper? Wait, wait a minute, Alexa. How hot is a Carolina Reaper pepper? Two million Scoville heat units. According to an Alexa Ansys contributor, the Carolina Reaper pepper averages 1,641,000 Scoville heat units and keeps at 2.2 million Scoville heat units. It is 200 times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. We're going to be feeling this. We're going this. to be putting that in our mouth holes. You're gonna be feeling this in the morning. Do we want to do a pineapple juice included cocktail next, or do we want to do a Carolina Reaper next? Ooh, a why not both? Could for me? Could I do? Could I have like a like a pineapple like mocktail mm. kind of thing? You want a pineapple mocktail? You want some of the spicy lemonade with the with the pineapple? Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, let's put it. Sounds amazing. Let's put a spin on it too. What do we do? Oh, you know what? I'm actually curious. Yes. Um, give it to me. Do you like tonic water? Have you ever had tonic water? I have. I'm not crazy about tonic water. Not crazy about it. Mm, I don't know if it's mm. necessary. Mm. Now let's do that. I mean, yes. Pick your pick your pepper poison. Like, um, let's see. Let, pick your pepper uh, poison. Pardon me. Let's stick with the habanero. Sticking with the habanero. There we go. Habanero. Aid. Together. Habanero aid. Habanero aid. I'm just gonna. Feeling it. I'm gonna measure in cordial glasses. Are you feeling it now, Amy? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Crabs? Here's my glass from Thank earlier. you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just gonna measure this out that, by too. eye. I'll do some of the habanero aid. We'll do. Let's see, I like two of those? That yeah, feels about right. Really like Glenn experienced that for the full force that it is. There's a couple of seeds in there. Does this bode well with you, sir? I mean, I'm okay with it. Mm. It does any of this Feel bode free well? to grab any syrup from the fridge. Oh, I want to regrab that. Oh, the one in the flask is cinnamon syrup, if you're interested. Oh, oh I'm not mm. a cinnamon guy. Not a huge How cinnamon guy? Cinnamon tastes with pineapple, I though. have no freaking clue. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to put pineapple juice in there. Yes. Where about uh, pineapple juice at? Oh, this is pineapple day. I have the pineapple juice here. Oh, you have my cane? We got to give that a shake. Oh, uh, what syrups we got? We got... I think there's cinnamon in there. I think uh, the honey, I don't know if it was put back in the fridge, but I know that's available too. There's that charred oak and maple one. I'm gonna stick with You're opening oak that from the wrong side. I dig that. Oh, what do you mean, dude? Just like that. All right, let's put, I'm gonna eyeball this. A little bit of that. I'm gonna say probably about like half an ounce or so, because the lemonade is kind of sweet enough, I think. As opposed to, I think we did a full ounce before. So yeah, and the pineapple different. juice. Got the pineapple juice would be pretty good yeah. as well. Yeah, can I now send us a uh, cocktail up to the stream? Absolutely! We go. Yeah. There we go, Glenn. Are, are you going to still use that pineapple juice? Because I'll drink that yeah, too. Yeah, you want that pineapple juice? Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm sure. You should it's see how quickly he goes habanero, through it Habanero pineade. Yeah. You want that? Sure. Well, we'll right now. Go for it, sir. Excellent. 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 So perfect. Remember, we do also have this. We. Oh my God. We. Yes, I forgot we too. Do. Ooh, bring that. Bring that over here. Of course, good sir. Excellent. Excellent. And Glenn, get out of here. Enjoy yourself. You know what? <laughs> Cam. Wow. Yeah. Pop that. I have an idea. Pop that sucker open. Why don't you? Because we want to know what we can do. Caitlin, come here. Mix that. Present what you have given to us. All right. 
So I have uh, brought us 21 seeds, cucumber, jalapeno, tequila. Blanco tequila infused with cucumber, jalapeno, and other oh. natural flavor. Glenn, what do you think of that That's habanero hot. pine aid? You want to sip? That's hot. Ooh. I want to sip that's hot. Ooh. Like, I, like, I, feel, I feel like that has more heat than the last one did. Let's see. Well, I wonder what the I mean, it, lemon does and the pineapple juice. Like mean, that, citrus is supposed to like mitigate heat. Like, I feel like that one hits harder. It, it can only mitigate it so much. It does. It hits harder. I like it actually it. Hurt, it hurts more. Yeah, it does. It hurts more. Oh, babe, I like it. Does it hurt Hello, so Nora Mac. Good? Mega CS. That is nice. I like it. It is quite nice, though. Here's Although it's very mega spicy and kind of painful. Here's some. Would you like a sip? We're currently on the habanero level. No, thanks. Now. I Somewhere choose life. Hundreds of thousands of Scoville <laughs> units. Sounds like a coward's answer. And okay. I am fully admitting to have to be no, no it's your spice drink. tolerance. Go for it. So, this is 21 seeds. Cucumber jalapeno tequila? Cucumber jalapeno from Jalisco, Mexico. And honestly, hmm, I actually wonder what we could properly use this for. How many jalapenos have you eaten? None. Although I'm pretty sure I put the equivalent of a habanero pepper and a half in my gullet. Yeah. Let's see if 21 seeds, like the website, has any recommendations for uh, what to use this in. 21 seeds, cucumber, jalapeno, flavor, me, flavor, comma, <laughs> meat tequila. Of course, I am an adult. Yep, we, great to see you. We must check if you're over 21. Uh, yep, yep, you ask me every single time. But I've never been here before, so good to meet you. Great. You can make a spicy seed margarita is the only recipe that they give. Oh, no, no, there's ranch water. Ranch, oh, oh, ranch water. I know what ranch water is. Um, I don't. <laughs> oh, no, go back. What is ranch found. water? No, don't do that. Ranch water uses the tequila, lime juice, and Tapa Chico, which is basically sparkling mineral water. Let's do some of that. Let's mix that up real quick. I it says fill a glass with ice, oh, oh. add it all together, and top it off. All right, hold well, on. Ooh, that's actually over here. Let's do that real quick. Let's make Here's your ranch place. water. This is the lime juice, indeed. Let's make some I'm ranch learning. water. We're gonna put it in a glass. It's all about learning. I'm literally what? learning all the time on the stream. You want, Cam? Let's put this in one of the one of these old-fashioned glasses. One of these? Where? Absolutely. Ah, so another rocks glass. Do the do the eat five whole jalapenos in 20 seconds challenge, please. No. That's painful. Wait. Instead, we're gonna make a cocktail instead. Actually, I don't have any more peppers left that are, aren't sitting in some sort of solute. Solvent? I always get mixed up. Solvent. Because Let's you grab. Put, you put the loot in the vent. Loot in the, ooh, I like that. Solvent. Let's grab. What do you mean? Your choice of ice. And we're just gonna build it all on top of each other. And place it in this glass, if you will. And this, uh, the zip code is 05091. And that's where my brother moves. Okay. We're gonna use some of these. Canes. Perfect. Just to mock each other. Indeed. Indeed. Just to, you know, because peppermint, candy cane. Also, I thought you still had some peppers up here. Are we, uh... Um, I, I, you're two? right. I forgot. I have a bunch of habanero peppers. Uh -huh. Is that really the type of torture that we want to put ourselves in? Yes. Mm, I don't think I do. Uh -huh. Unless there's jalapenos at the bottom. Okay, Next. are we filling it to the top? Oh, I think that's fine. Okay. Idea. Okay. Okay. Idea. We have Glenn use a habanero as a shot glass. <laughs> that's dangerous. And so tiny. <laughs> ASMR this next cocktail as much as you reasonably can. Oh, I'll do that with the habanero shot glass. First, yeah, what we're going to need to do uh, is take. Oh wait, can we can we do the close up view? We'll bring the boom arm over here. Absolutely. It's time for uh, boom yeah, armage. Uh, boom armage. Now to switch to the other cocktail angle. Welcome everybody. It's time for your control, control key. Yeah. That's okay. It's always sticky. Your control key is now very very sticky. Mm, sticky. We like sticky around here, don't we? Do Gentlemen, we? gentle ladies, sticky, Do please we? observe the cocktail glass. We're going to need one and a half ounces or about 44 milliliters of your 21 C's cucumber, jalapeno, tequila. I'm using 21 seeds, cucumber, jalapeno. But if you have something else that's either seeded tequila, cucumber, jalapeno, you could probably use that too. I'm going to need... Oh, where is my jigger? Oh, here's a measuring majigger over here. I'm gonna need job. about a one and a half ounces. Yeah. I'm gonna fill just about up to the top here. Oh, can you see that? Here, observe. Get the fuck out of here. Here, observe. 
almost up to the tippy top. I thought you Hot said round. you didn't curse on stream. I never fucking curse on stream. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm drinking, Kirsten. Yeah, what do you expect? Yeah, yeah. That's about an ounce and a half of your seed cucumber jalapeno vodka. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I felt that one. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. I'm tinkling. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm gonna take this bottle and put it over here. Fuck! <laughs> Anyways. Next, we're going to need half an ounce of fresh lime juice. If you have fresh lime juice on hand, you could use that. However, mine was freshly unthawed from a freezer because instead of opting for the fresh fruit, I opted for the 100% no waste, farm to table, never insert other marketing tools to get you to buy vegan food. Here. And I need about caffeine free. Half an ounce. Oh, it's also caffeine free. Did I mention no, non GMO? Non GMO. Grass, grass-fed lime juice, grass-fed lime juice, half an ounce, or about 15 milliliters. But in this measuring jigger, it's probably about 12.5. That's math, baby. Not meth. Important distinction. We're gonna take that lime juice and very precariously throw it somewhere else. Watch out! Hey. Next, we're gonna go with three ounces oh. of Tapo Chico. Now, Tapo Chico is Spanish for Tapo Chico. It's a brand. I don't think it translates. Tapo Chico is, contains no juice, twist of lime, carbonated mineral water, naturally flavored, and as such, it probably comes with a twist-off container because it does say twist of lime at the top, but I'm going to be a bougie-ash uh, bartender and use this. Oh, actually, get a look at this. You know what? We're going to look at that. Yeah, take a look at this Tapo Chico container. Observe. One, oh God. two, three. Oh. Oh, I was shit. afraid that was going to fly and hit Kirsten. Hear that mineral water sizzle. Now back to the cocktail glass. Observe. See this? It kind of looks like a kind of murky yellow liquid. That's normal. If it comes out milky and cloudy, and you're not expecting that, please consult the doctor. <laughs> Top that sucker off with Tapo Chico. Three ounces just about, or just go fucking wild. Mm. Hold on, the rest of the time. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a drinking problem. It appears that I've spilled ranch water, or at least one third of ranch water, all over my face. I'll take your ranch water, sir. It's a community effort over here. They say it takes a village. Uh, would you like the Tapo Chico? I don't think the Tapo. The top of the Chicos? That was powerful. Yes, it was. Is there a... How do you ask for a kazoo? <laughs> How do you ask for I'm glad you asked. May I have that towel over there? Yes. This is the community kazoo. Whenever we observe peak moments of community activity, I do like such as somebody donating 10 subs right now, don't do it. I have money. We okay. sound off the community kazoo. kazoo. Do we have a song request out there? Careless uh, whispers. But, Careless whispers. Oh, I was gonna go with the. That's ranch water, by the way. Back to the main angle. I now present Careless Whisper. ASMR, kazoo style. So I probably just woke up my fiance. <laughs> I don't think she's asleep. Oh, she's definitely awake now. Well, I mean, I think she's still doing stuff. Anyway, that's called ranch water. It essentially takes tequila, lime juice, and Tapo Chico, or mineral water, and kind of tops it all off there. That's a regular ranch water. We did a ranch water. It's still just called ranch water, but we did it with cucumber jalapeno tequila. So that's all well and good. But the question is, how does it taste? <laughs> that's exactly what I gonna say how does it taste though let's how find out taste. who wanted this one who asked for this oh kayla because it's your cucumber jalapeno vodka or tequila tequila if you'd like to taste it if you don't want to drink the rest of it no problem i will happily take this one i will at least try to sip absolutely what did i miss of chat i was so in asmr mode we had more cocktails asmr like the sound thanks i hate it i'm tingling <laughs> le mayo that powerful epic asthma kazoo 
This is content I live for. Kazunity. Kazunity. Ooh, what'd you think? It's, it's nice. It's definitely very fresh. It's approachable. Smells like jalapeno. I'll, I'll give it that. It's very jalapeno-y. Ooh. Oh, that is very, very nice. Wow. Okay. Hey, would you like to try this? Sure, why not? It's it's like Ooh, it's like a mar I'm not I'm not a big fan of margaritas or sour drinks in general because the sourness usually hits me way too hard. There's just enough lime juice in here combined with the cucumber mostly the notes. It's a cooling sour sensation, but it's not sour. It's not even tart. It's like less than that. Because you add the Topo Chico in there which has a twist of lime, I suppose, it kind of waters it down and makes it more fizzy. It's like really really tasty. And I love it. I'm sorry. I want to add in point. That is point. Exactly what happened over here. I yeah. Added the tapu With the tapu chico. I add that to the habanero drink. Really mellowed out that flavor. Like it does not punch you in the face as hard it's, anymore. It's this is like I will, li literally. I was not planning to use tapu chico today. I saw it in the store and I was like, I've seen that a lot in cocktail okay. recipes. I should pick up a bottle. I don't need a whole case, but I will pick up a <laughs> bottle. And because of serendipity, you see what, you see what we've I'm been saying? able to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you like to oh. I think I'm gonna stick with my ranch water. This is beautiful. Unless, would you like to libate this particular libation? I would add a little bit of sweet, a little bit yeah. more sweetness to it. But Absolutely. Yes. Well, what are we gonna do? For, we've got some simple syrup over here. Let's go for that. I'm gonna go in here and try to find which one is the simplest syrup I have accessible. Simple syrup. Watch out, Boo. Oh, there you are. This is probably. Simple syrup, let's see. Yes, that is simple. That is the simplest syrup. That is the simplest syrup. We'll add a touch of it in there. Perfect. Great. I'm gonna give it a swirl with uh whatever you're most you know comfortable what? with. Can you grab me one of the straws? Absolutely. Oh yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah. We constantly forget. You get yellow. A yellow yeah. yellow. Ooh, and it's a bendy straw. And it's a bendy straw. You might have broken it, but that's okay. We have so many more. Sure. That's you know, really fun. Once upon a time, I did a project in high school uh, where we were supposed to be building bridges for physics class, and um, I am still using the same supply of straws that I my mother got from Burger King when we did that project. Basically, I think it was, oh my god, this was probably 11 or 12 years ago, back in uh, high school. And I did that with Matt, actually. We built a bridge called Stabby Bridge. We made it out of straws and pin needles. Beautiful. It was wonderful, and it held up to the 5 kilogram grain weight, t weight test. It was great. Uh, Thoughts? Can you put this on the table? Mm -hmm. It's really good, but I don't want to lie about I, that right now. Okay, it's a tasty I, one. I had a thought. Like, I would love to do, like, a uh, cucumber jalapeno uh, lemonade at some point. Can we take it to the side? Thank you so oh, much. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, we technically sticky. have the ability to do that. It's just going to be, Great. you know, oh, alcoholic. Oh Which one? What was the cocktail? Basically, yeah, take that tequila, mm -hmm. mix it with this. Make it with well, the jalapeno? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I, I am saying purely like a... Just like cucumber jalapeno, right? Yeah, cucumber I don't have anything lemonade. cucumber based. That's a good one. Like cucumber... Because oh, we could do a cucumber cocktail. I've had cucumber lemonade before. Mm. They have it It's good stuff. Um, oh, it's good stuff. I know Cheesecake factory. Nice, nice. And so I'm like, why not try making that with a little bit of jalapeno? Add mm -hmm. some spice in there. That could be good. I hey, realized Karen. that I didn't update our current recipe. It's okay. I keep losing track of that. That one was called Ranch, Ranch water. water. Yes, it was. Ranch water. Ranch you were water. saying so. Okay, so. Uh, how do you make a mojito? How do you make a mojito? Well, you're going to make a mojito with some rum. You're going to use mint. Probably some sort of syrup and stuff. I'm sure there are other recipes of doing it out there. You could use like fresh mint, and if I had fresh mint, I would mostly recommend that. However, there is a bottle around here called Don Q Mojito, and I think you just mix that with like water or something. Probably that's more or less your mojito. We could probably make a. Oh, that's nice and light this time. Ranch water. Probably because um, the board's nice and hydrated. Mm, hydrated boards. You like that? I like to see that. Um, let me go grab that bottle because there is interest on it. Zoop, where are you? I think you're over with my mint stuff. Where are you? What is going on in the are chat? Where are you? Oh, I I literally, oh, there you are. Literally right down here, right in front. This is Don Q Mojito from Puerto Rico. Exceptional Puerto Rican rum infused with natural mint. Um, fill 10 ounces of the glass with ice, pour 3 ounces, and add some club soda, stir, and enjoy. Would you like a very simple mojito? 
Or do we want that? Or we just we were just bringing it up? Because like mm. my thought was that that cucumber jalapeno would go great with the mint. <clears throat> and with the rum. I love a good mojito. You know what? Because I've seen spicy mojitos before. I need me a drink. I need a drink to have around here. I'm gonna grab. I have the smallest glass that we have. It's so accessible. Actually, we're gonna go with this one because we have it available. I'm gonna grab myself a big ice cube, if you will. Perfectly. I said I, I can grab, grab it myself. Things over here, if you need. Indeed. I also keep forgetting to, to to ask of that. I'm really bad at delegating tasks. You are. I am. Yeah. I very much am. Wow. What is this? It's a heap and cube. Heap and cube. Oh, I'm gonna pour. That's the one you want to grab. Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely. I'm gonna pour. Well, this said, th ooh, that's on my fingers. Nice. Three ounces and one ounce of club soda. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. I'm gonna do two ounces of this. I support. think I saw it Actually, in the door. Um, yeah, there should be a small container of club soda in there that's chilled already. I also have a ton of things of club soda oh, over on the Houston side. Yeah. Oh, that's not club soda, that's grenadine. It's in a club soda container though. <laughs> Oh, any any of those bottles down there? Yeah. Perfect, perfect. That is some club soda. Oh yes, indeed. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh and we also need to use the. It was the um. Oh, I the wish I had right? that for ASMR here. That was good stuff. <laughs> Bubbly. So just three ounces. We'll put one ounce of the cucumber jalapeno tequila in there. Ooh, get in there. Oh, get in there. All right, perfect. And then we'll top that off with club soda. Here we go. Perfection! Sweet. I've never seen a sweeter mojito in my life. I wish I had fresh mint to garnish it with, but I don't. <coughs> <laughs> I inhaled the bubbly jalapeno. <laughs> Excuse me, that really tastes great. It's all right. I think it's all right. I'd say for the most part, I think the the jalapeno, at least for me, is not gelling super well with the with the with the mint. But it's nice. The cucumber and the mint go super well together. Absolutely, they go extremely well together. There we go. It gets a little messy, but that's why you have towels on the floor. Yes. And the varnish is picking up anyways, so it's okay. <laughs> right? I felt the same way. I think that's it's too count for pepper down the wrong hole. It's probably it could probably work. I think it would need to be. I don't think I did it in the right ratio. I don't think I think this probably was a mismatch in ratio. Probably, but it's all right. It's pretty good. Can all be winners. Cannot all be winners. Hmm. Because usually I'm not a fan of club. That looks like a glass of water. Yes. It's all clear stuff. Actually, there's nothing not clear in there. It's all just clear. And the mineral water. It's got bubbles. That's where they get you. That's where they get you. Okay, so I think what I want to do is I want to move on to, um, let's say we've made Glenn his pineapple thing. Yeah, that's great. Do you want, do you want another one from himself? The whole reason we have the this one, we can't not. Is it the boy? Here comes the boy! Hello! Your face it's just time. turned red with that entire I think bit. It's, it's time. We're two hours into the stream. Yes. We've worked our way up the ladder. Technically, we haven't touched the Serrano pepper, but any one of us could take a shot of that at any moment in time. Don't do it. No, Kaylin, don't. <laughs> but we could. That's always an option. We have a couple recipes that I actually pulled off of the um, the Charleston Distillery's website. Later, later. And so I'm going to take a look and see which one that we can do. I kind of found these today, so I wasn't exactly prepared to make all of them. But I think what we should do now is we'll do one of those cocktails and see how the Reaper tastes combined with other things. And then I feel like we got to do a challenge to see like who can withstand the most spice straight. Glenn obviously using the lemonade for those who are not alcoholic. Yay. Of course. I see the one that seemed the most approachable from the... Charleston Distillery's website was one that used hibiscus syrup, and I don't remember what it is, but I'm flipping through. Yes. Not the Bloody Reaper. You were supposed to do it in the microphone, Glenn. Listen, man, sometimes they just happen, and I'm Can't like, Can't you do it in the Excuses, excuses, was okay, asking. Oh, I actually. Have the girth. It's not the Reaping Peaches. I think I forgot to put it in the correct section. Let's see. Uh, I got another one. I got another one. It's called Pineapple Express. There we are. So, I know what I'm, I'm talking sorry. about. I got ASMR burp. I don't know how to do it. Mm, oh, I mean, brace yourselves. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, Chat, you don't realize how much power you wield over this stream. You ask and you shall receive. Exactly. I'm the first one where you're like, they're like, oh, burp, 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 burp in the mic. I'll be like, okay. Glenn will do it for free. You, you don't even need to ask him. You don't even need to drop a sub. You don't even need to do anything. Just do it. Drop a sub for the hippo. No, do whatever you want to. Yeah, do it. Hippo hype. Plenty of money. Hippo hypos. Hippo hypo 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 so what are we brewing now? We're making one called Pineapple Express. The Charleston Distilling website says it is created with Carolina Reaper Vodka. Pineapple. It just says pineapple, so we have to use an entire pineapple. Hibiscus syrup, lemon, an entire lemon. There is no quantity specified. And orange bitters. Now, there's not, there are no measurements here. That's So unusual. I think we kind of just got to eyeball it. And oh. that, but we'll, I, what I guess we'll try to do is we'll try to balance things as best as we, as we can. We have a lemon. We have a lemon. It's we can use lemon juice. Too. We have, I don't have hibiscus syrup. You but I did prepare some hibiscus tea, tea it's right ahead of stream. I got some. It's over on the side. I made sure to ask everybody to remind me where the hibiscus tea is, and it's been on the side of the stream just waiting this entire time. And I'm For glad that somebody specific moment. For this specific moment. Oh, can we put the salt away? Um, yes. We need a can of pineapple juice, correct? We need a can of pineapple juice. Did you drink the rest of the pineapple juice? Of course it is. In good Glenny fashion. Yeah. We're gonna need I love pineapple juice. It doesn't say what kind of glass to put it in, so I think it's kind of up to our interpretation. What kind of glass do you want, bro? Ah, we're gonna go with those coupe glasses in the back. We're gonna use one of those. Yes, yes indeed. I like them very much. Some I of my favorite glasses. Try to take them off. Excellent. They're very precariously placed back there. We try to be careful about that. Yes, especially because nice. we don't have that uh, much for, room for back here. Mercy, here. that was mighty and magical. Was that my my? You my asked for it. Because you're welcome. And we're happy to provide here with the next industries. We're still working on slogans and other branding material. We've fallen behind. There's basically only one of us for now. It so I'll work. it uses Reaper vodka, pineapple. There's an interview process. Hibiscus syrup, lemon, and orange bitters. The orange bitters are probably just going to be in dashes, so I'm not super worried about that. Lemon juice and the hibiscus syrup. If it's a syrup, there's going to be some like sweet component coming along with that. So the lemon hibiscus syrup is kind of going to be like a hibiscus sour mix, if you will. And if we put that in a single ounce. So what I'm thinking is, if we make this like a three ounce cocktail, we can do three ounces, of the, one ounce of the reaper, one ounce of the pineapple, okay. one ounce of the combined lemon hibiscus syrup, which I think just means we're going to take the hibiscus... Uh, tea and just like put some extra lemon into it. We're gonna have a little extra liquid left over with the lemon juice. I think we'll just do like half the lemon. And we'll see where it gets. We'll see where that gets us. Okay. All in agreement. All in agreement. I... Everyone in agreement. Say e i e i o. E i e i o. Notice how I did not say e i e i o. Yeah, you're against it. Carolina Reaper, ladies, gentlemen, those in far in between or beyond. Let's do it. There it is. I'm just gonna. I think this probably could be good with some mixing. So I mix it. Right. I think one of my um, what do you need? Where's the other uh, pink shaker I have over here? I don't use it very often. Or maybe we stir it. No, this should probably be shaken. This feels this feels like a shaky kind of shaky kind of lad. Which means we're probably gonna need ice. Oh yeah, Glenn, ice if you will. What kind of ice? Do you I want one big cube, one two, some of those little cubes. That's just how we do it around here. Do you want me to measure out that pineapple juice for you? Let's do one ounce pineapple juice. Just a little bit of little cubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait, 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 Cause this thing is a really. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't you usually do that with a bar spoon? I don't like how flexible this tin is on the inside. Oh, uh, did you dent the tin? I certainly hope I didn't break it. Hey, take this bag. I don't need it anymore. Okay. <laughs> yeah, how did you come out? Yeah. Can you get me one of the? Ooh, can you hand me one of the spoons? I you yes, I can hand you Let's one of the spoons. Let's do one of the spoons. Give me the spoon. I'm gonna put this here and the see. Spoon. I just wanna, I wanna crack this ice cube and like. Uh oh. It's too bouncy. I don't, I don't understand. Well, okay. Oh, let me do this bartender. Oh, there's water in there. <laughs> Cause you put ice in there. Come on, dude, get out of there. I'm gonna do this the bartender, bartender style. style. I literally, I, I've never been able to do this for the life of me. I'm gonna use the heavy side of my spoon. Oh, it's so messy. It's so messy. I should use the bar spoon side. Here we go. We're gonna try it again. Dude, you're taking ice chunks everywhere. Here's one chunk of ice. This is how we do. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm scared. I shouldn't be using that apparatus. If you want, I can do it next time. And then we'll do that. And that I might take you up on that offer. Ice. Ice away. The ice away, master. Pineapple juice. Pineapple. One ounce of the Reaper. Don't fear the Reaper. 
Actually smells quite pleasant. It kind of smells like 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 um uh witch hazel. Specifically. Ugh. It smells specifically like witch hazel. Still smells like so it. that's what it smells like. Yeah. I used to they used my mother used to tell me to put witch hazel on my face to like help with acne and stuff. I don't think it ever did anything, but you know, the thought that counts. We're gonna do an entire ounce nice of the Carolina Reaper vodka mm -hmm. into here. All I wanna do I'm before scared. I put that in there. Little scoop on my finger. That tastes. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I guess we'll see how that goes later on. Okay. No reaction. I will not relent on my reaction. That could very well be spicing up my entire mouth right now. We also need some of the hibiscus. Syrup, syrup in this case. We're gonna use hibiscus tea in place of things. We're gonna do about an ounce of that and then just squeeze half of a lemon in there. A little bit of a mess, but it's fine. I think this hibiscus tea is not straight up hibiscus. It's got a couple things in it. It's got You're gonna need that, dude. hibiscus flowers, rose hips, lemongrass, orange peel, spearmint, and organic rose petals. I got this from Wellcap Herbs and Holidays. They do holidays too. I believe you're gonna need this. Ooh, I will take one yes, of those. Will. I will take one of those. Let's all shuffle in here if we want to. Lemon me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're That's welcome. That's a really tiny lemon. So actually, I got these lemons from one of my family members who has a lemon tree growing in their in their place, and they actually oh. kind of look more like limes on the inside. Oh, that's awesome. If you let them grow farther than this, they will become limes. Oh, Evidently. Cute. Is that a lemon for ants? It's tiny. Eee. It's like a lemon for me. Shall we juice? Would you like to do the juicage? I would like to do the juicage. Open up the juicer. She does like doing the juice. Put it upside down. Squeeze. And we squeeze. Oh, yes. Squeeze. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Good. I think it might be. Hey, hon, you're my main squeeze. There we go. Oh. That's my main squeeze over there. And that's my right there. All right. Well, Speaking Glenn, would you like to eat the rest of this? Oh, heck yeah, dude. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, and that's one. Yum, yum, mm, yum. Delicious. Well, Can we probably... place this over back in the corner? Yes. In case we need it for later. We'll put this back over here. Glenn eats lemons. Mm -hmm. Yes. And apparently limons. We're down with that. Hmm. I have seen him eat lemons, limons, and limes now. Indeed. This guy. You know, the inside of it kind of looks green. It yeah. does. It's kind of limey. How are you feeling? It's kind of limey. Good. Feeling all right so far. Limon. I took a little bit of a sip of the Carolina Reaper vodka and I. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, we'll get there. So we put hibiscus tea. And lemon juice, hibiscus syrup, I guess. Uh, we could probably sweeten it up a little bit. Actually, what I should be doing is taking some more simple syrup. Um, there should be some simple syrup on the bottom most shelf, right in front of uh, everything else in there. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, on the, on, in the main compartment, right next to the, um, um, oh my god, what do you call that? Right next to the bottle with the red stuff in it. Yeah, that's it. That was the simplest syrup I could find. And we're gonna do... It's like sour mix, so you basically take something sour and you put more or less equal parts of that in there as well. And we did lemon juice. Somebody like scant half an ounce of the simple syrup in there. I think that'll I think that'll even out the uh, any any sourness coming from the hibiscus uh, and from the lemonade. Let's put that there. Okay. There's not much left of it. Okay, I'm gonna do a shakeage. We will conduct the shakeage. The shakeage. Um, let's take this muddler, put it elsewhere. We will probably, I don't know if we'll do more cocktails than this, but we'll see. We'll, we'll keep this on the standby. Put this over there. Okie dokie, y'all. This is what they're calling Pineapple Express, straight from Charleston Distilleries for their Carolina Reaper vodka, which I took a taste of it. Doesn't seem that bad, from what I can tell. Famous last words. Famous last words. Shall we all Indeed. shuffle in here? Yes. We're coming to a enticing conclusion potentially or we continue we're only at the two hour and 20 minute mark yeah. just about just about things you just can sometimes continue all right let's shake it up we gotta build up a, build up a boss. this is actually it's actually sealing up better now than any other time that i've used this quickly it's a lucky day maybe it knows it just knows it knows in the carolina reaper region inside of it okay Shall we get the boom arm? Bring on the boom arm. Bring on the boom angle. The bangle. The bangle, so to speak. Oh, 
Oh, it's looking. I was like, that's weird. Yeah, I don't have I enough need, cocktail I yet. I needed the Reaper. There tool. we go. All right, let's do a little bit of that. Actually, right, right. let's put the put things back up again. <clears throat> Reaper, Reaper. <laughs> I hardly know her. Tee -hee. Huh? All right. Oh, that's oh, pink. What? Oh, that's from the hibiscus tea. Oh, the hibiscus. That's okay. from the hibiscus. My goodness gracious. That's cute. I really want to garnish that. I know there's Carolina yeah, Reaper Amazon pepper in there, but like, I really want to garnish that with a flower. I don't have any flowers though. Man, that's so pretty looking. What about an umbrella? That's dangerous looking. An umbrella? Ooh, shall we that do a work. tiny pink umbrella? Yes. I was gonna do blue to like contrast. Ooh, let's do it. whichever color strikes your fancy. Blue. Carolina blue. Reapers look like they're red. We've got the entire color spectrum to work with if we want to. Just to make it pop. Umbrella me. Umbrella. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's a rubber band. <laughs> pop. There we go. Beautiful. Isn't she pretty? Oh. This is called Pineapple Express. It's got Carolina Reaper uh, vodka in it, supposedly clocking in around the 1.5 to 2 million Scoville unit mark. Um, that shit's intense. My god. Um, let's take a closer look at that, shall we? That's just my own picture. It's a beautiful picture indeed. Actually, yeah. Alright, let's bring things back. So, this is what we've all been waiting for, really. Supposedly, this cocktail utilizes the spiciest pepper that we have access to over here. It wasn't specifically infused like the other ones were. However, if I'm inclined to think that this might be the worst of it... There, I said it. I'm inclined to think that this might be the worst of it. Pineapple Express. Hmm. I feel conned. <laughs> I feel like I've been conned. That's not spicy at all. What? That's not spicy at all. That's Hold up a freaking nice. second. <laughs> this isn't spicy the least bit. Grab a cordial and taste it. I have. Yes. I also have shot glasses. I feel like I've been conned. What is this? How do you feel conned? I was the one that bought it. <laughs> You're kidding me! That's I not, cannot believe it! That's not spicy at all? That's not spicy at all! Is this a scam? That's not spicy at all! <laughs> Everybody take a drink of this! This is not spicy in the least bit! It actually does quite, quite pleasant. That's actually a very pleasant I taste, actually. The ingredients on this. It just kind of tastes they, like... Why they just lied? It just kind of tastes like a pepper. It just kind of tastes like a pepper. There's nothing spicy about that. Oh, you want uh, yes, I have a little bit of a kick. Mm. A little bit of a kick? Ooh. Is there something wrong with me? <laughs> Is there something wrong with me? Wait. <laughs> Get it on the tip of your tongue, Cam. <laughs> it smells like... Did it break me? Remover. It does. It does smell like nail polish remover. Did the other peppers break me? Have I now become immune to the spice? I have to test with the... Where's the habanero? Because you know I'm not going to drink this. Where's the hab hab habanero? It's a little hot. Would you like to try the cocktail that we put it in? Then again, I am a giant baby when it comes to spice. That's definitely vodka. Nope, that's still spicy. <laughs> that habanero is still spicy. Just pull a habanero yeah. out and eat it. Well, we do <laughs> have that. <laughs> I'm actually completely shocked, and I'm floored by this. Well. Wow. Um, Carolina oh, Reaper yeah. vodka, Someone everybody. The, the cap for this, because I'm just kind of. It's, it's right here. Right. It's behind the arm. Huh. Danka. It's a. Wow. What a shocking climax. What a dandy climax. Right? Yeah. All right, well. It's like vodka, but more open. Carolina well, Reaper pepper flavored vodka. <laughs> this just gives an incentive. Yeah, there is a little bit of a spice. Yeah. I feel it on my tongue now, but only after I put like at least an entire shot in my mouth. Honestly, what, I is, it, what is the alcohol content on this? 80 40 percent, 80 proof. Yeah, I mean, what's that? Oh yeah, oh my god, absolutely. We made a cocktail with it. Absolutely. Let's see. The Pineapple Express is. It's really good. 
It's mostly hibiscus and pineapple notes. It's like really, really pleasant together. There's not a lot of sourness there from the le from the lemon juice, and that's like to my preferences. But it's good. It's very, very pleasant. You want to this is a very, Absolutely. I will say Here, this go is for very it. cute. It's a very cute one. I, I am getting pepper notes. There is there is a bit of a pepperness that is imparted by the Carolina Reaper vodka. I honestly thought that it was going to be super duper spicy. But lo and behold, it gets you a little bit on the back end, but not much. Yeah, actually, you know, I will say this: there it was looks a like bit it of could kill you, but it is actually a cinnamon roll. There is a bit of spice that is sitting in the middle of my tongue, and it hasn't gone away yet. So I'd say, if anything, it's the most lingering of the spices here. However, it's not the most punch you in the face. Punch you in the face type. I of think that, that goes to the habanero. habanero. The yeah. habanero. Oh my gosh, here. That was because that wild. punches you in the face. Yeah. Though this does. We have quite a bit of all the different peppers left. <laughs> I think the the logical conclusion to it's the spicy spirit stream. Super pepper smash. Super pepper smash. Super, super pepper, pepper smash. smash. And now entering the super pepper smash. All right. I have, we all have cordial glasses. I believe everybody has a designated cordial glass. Let's just see, this one's mine. mine. I don't know where mine is. Um, I think, wait, this one has schmutz We can also do, we can, we can clean them out is first. mine. Do mine's it. over there. Oh, here's well, one, here's one. Would you like me to get that works? Okay, here, let's do a little cleaning. Let's do a little bit of cleaning. If we uh, wet them up a little bit um, and stuff with the water. Skull, yes, or no. That. Because I want to say this one was mine. Bring me the bucket. The bucket. And this and one's have, clean. They have a towel? Yeah. It has, that had uh, the Carolina Reaper stuff in it, so if you want to clean that, that's all you. Dang it. Because this one was over by the Fresno. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of like a, a cheaters a cheaters clean. I'm going to cover them in the water, try to get the flavors out of them, and then we'll all just take one. We've all more or less been soup when uh, sharing things pretty much the evening so far. We are all very close friends here. Yep. When you're behind my bar, you're a close friend of mine. Unless you start like getting like like murdery, in which case, murdery. I do have a f murdery, murdery. Oh, where was the other one? Oh, may I have that? I'll clean that for you. Just a little bit of honestly, the easiest way for me to clean things out here is I just kind of wet the inside and outside, get all the gunky bits out, and just rub it down. Okay. This is for you. Okay, dokie, y'all. Super Pepper Smash time. Yep, Super Pepper Smash. We are going to conduct the Super Pepper Smash as such. We are going to take into our cordial glasses a little bit of each pepper infusion. And you know what we're going to do first? We're going to do a little tiny bit of the Carolina Reaper vodka, except for Glenn, because he doesn't drink alcohol. And we're just going to do a little, we're just going to do a little sip of it. We are ultimate predators. We here have conquered the California Reaper so much that in the computing world, if you go too high, you will overflow and go back down. And that's apparently what this did to us. We're all gonna take just, just a smidge. Each of the Carolina Reaper, because this is our trophy. This is the beast we've conquered. To be honest, I think the journey and the friends we made along the way were the most potent. Would you not mind moving the bucket out of the way so we can make space for everybody over here? Did we want to do any paradigm shifting before we jump into this final chapter? I don't know. Are you still cool being my right-hand woman? I'm fine with it. Are you jealous of her being my right-hand woman? No. How are you? Peachy. Peachy. Because the thing is, I'm always your right-hand man, spirit. Or woman. Here you go. Here um. you go. Carolina Reaper Vodka. We've conquered it so much that it's now in the negative Scoville units. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's super spicy. It tastes like witch hazel or whatever. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know, my tongue is actually feeling a little numb. That's what I was getting. I'm actually feeling a little... Actually, you know what? That's like an invisible spice, come to think of it. I'm gonna do this. Do you need some water? We can get you water if you need. Are you yeah, seriously okay? Okay, no. okay, no. pineapple juice? Dude, the pineapple juice will work. Dude, I'm a shot of pineapple juice. Pineapple juice on standby. Can Any? I? Yeah. Because my glass was empty. Okie doke. Wait. Pimple? We also have hibiscus tea. Pimple? 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 I'm good. Pimple juice? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Pimple mm, juice. Um, I love using pimple juice in my cocktails. Fresh pimple juice. Juice straight from the pimple. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Anyway. So. Good luck getting that out of your nightmares. I'd like to apologize <laughs> that it took us two and a half hours to reveal that Carolina Reaper Vodka, the thing that I literally hyped up the entire time and have been hyping up everybody on for pretty much the past week. Was a total letdown? Not that bad. No, not a total letdown. But not that bad. Not that bad. We conquered it. But oh, you know what? That's important. I know what we Oh. Oh? Oh? Take a little bit of each of these into the portals. Ooh. That could. Wasn't that the whole I'm point? I'm gonna wait bad on that one. Uh, wasn't that the whole point? We could do it combined. Pepper? I thought that was the whole point of the Super Pepper Smash. Super Pepper Smash? That's what I thought it was. Oh, that's are we putting all of them together? together? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ooh. What were you thinking for Super Pepper Smash? I was thinking we do like a little bit of each and work our way up. No, it's all out. of them. Ooh. And I'll go first with the non alcoholic version. Super no, Pepper not. Smash! Super Pepper Smash. Hashtag unsubscribe. Hashtag Jake. <gasps> I would never. Anyhow. I would never. Would anyone mind if I would be the first to smash with the non-alcoholic versions? Absolutely. This is what we're going to do. The Super Pepper Smash Super is not going smash. to be conducted in tournament style. I think that's just painful. We're going to combine everything together to see what kind of spice. Can we even piece out the notes of the flavors and stuff like that? We change things up because we can. It's what the people want. It's what what we haven't even tried the Serrano, come to think of it. That's true. Correct. That's that's true. Yeah. Do we want to try a little bit of that actually, before jumping into it? Did I have some Serrano? Serrano aid? Yeah. Serrano aid? Ooh, actually, yeah, we didn't even touch the Serrano. Uh, ser serenade. It's the serenade. Serenade to me. Serenade. It's honestly whatever I you guys want. I am a beautiful young woman, and I need a pepper to serenade me tonight. I'll admit, I didn't have that much of the Serrano in the It almost juice. looks like chives. It's kind of chivey. Glenn. Serrano. Jesus. Ooh, there's a pepper in there. Thanks. You're so mm. welcome. I can smell it. How's it taste? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Was the juice indeed worth the squeeze? I have to wonder. Spicy, spicy, pepper, pepper. Spicy, spicy, spirit, spirit, stream, stream. Hmm. 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 It's there. Mm. You it's can not taste that bad. It. It's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. Eat the pepper. Oh, you want me to eat, eat it? Eat the poopoo. -poo? Eat the poopoo. -poo. Eat the poopoo -poo pepper. My, pepper. my favorite Dark Souls character. Eat the poopoo. -poo. Eat the poopoo. Eat the poopoo. Eat the poopoo. Mmm. How that poopoo taste, pal? Oh. Oh. There it is. Oh. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Name again, you're supposed to be? Pepper, pepper, pineapple? Pe 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 uh, pe what do we call this? Pimple juice? Pimple, 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 pimple juice. Pimple juice. Cheers, oh, to, crap. cheers to the pimples. <laughs> no, it's begun. Water? <laughs> no, when Glenn eats something too spicy, he gets the hiccups. No, not too spicy. It's, That's his If incredible. my body's not prepared, it's good stuff. I'll just start hiccuping like a mad lad. That was incredible. Yeah, it was like me earlier. Yeah. Pepper time? So, who's pepper gonna time? do the next one to eat a pepper? Do we want to do it cold? Do we want to do the super pepper smash cold or warm? What would make it worse? Worse? Probably the warm. Obtain from me a mixing glass. It's the big one. The one that looks like a beaker. I'm gonna put <sighs> between the three of us participating in the super pepper smash. Hey, I'm doing the non alcoholic super pepper smash. This is also true. We will mix yours in a separate glass completely. May I have another mixing glass? We have time Can for I everything. Would you? Oh, you may. You may. It's yeah, totally okay. I am sorry. I do not want to talk for that. Much. We respect people who know their limits. I, for one, don't I'm remember not. what mine is. No, no, no. I definitely have limits somewhere, but I apparently haven't experienced it yet. Will you be participating? Well, heck yeah. I nominate that you guys also have to chew and eat the peppers. You've been voted off the island. You've been voted off the island. I need to get out then. You've been voted off the island. Have Please I? vacate the premises. Bitch. Please vacate the premises. After you, ma'am. After you. <laughs> it's a shame that it had to come to this. Yeah, we're on the island. Oh, okay. So Are we going back on the island? Come along. Okay. Okay. Two contenders here hang in the midst of the Super Pepper Challenge, where they will be up against not one, not two, three, four, but five different types of pepper infusions. First up to the bat is going to be the Jalapeno Tincture, clocking in at about 2,000 to 8,000 Skolo units. We're going to add just about an ounce 
or I don't know where my, oh, there's my measuring majigger, about an ounce to this glass over here. Some pieces of the peppers may get trapped on the inside. Um, we'll strain it out before we put into any glasses and stuff. That was interesting. A single ounce of jalapeno. If you were to take a whiff of this jalapeno tincture, what kind of notes are you getting there? I see earthy. Getting that. It almost smells kind of almost like olive brine, almost. There's like a piece of it that's almost like olive to me. Which I, 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 am, I like it. I, like I it. love it. I love it. It reminds me, I have some Kalamata olives downstairs, like the red ones. I love getting those at, on pizzas. But that was... Mm. I'm going to put this off to the side, so we have a little more space over here. Coming up on the second rank, I guess second to last rank in terms of our spiciness scale, is going to be our Fresno peppers, clocking in anywhere between 2.5 thousand to 10 thousand Scoville units. The Scoville unit scale, at least from what we're aware of, is a kind of a linear scale, which is to say, if you double the units of measure, you, you like... You double, the spice. you double the spice, as opposed to doubling it as a, a going to like, like more higher scales, like logarithmically. We will also add an ounce of our Fresno, which the liquid that we have here is actually a very interesting yellow color that is coming out of it. I just realized when I kind of, when I kind of tease the colors and stuff, this is what our, well, let's see, put that up a little bit. This is what our Fresno peppers look like. You can kind of see the liquid in there is like a nice, like, yellow color. I also teased the jalapenos as well. They're, uh, they're kind of brownish. Got a nice brown color in there. They're doing all right. Oh, sorry. I whacked the microphone. It's in the way. Next, clocking in at 10,000 or to 25,000 Scoville units is the Serrano pepper. They're kind of long, thin green peppers. They kind of look like jalapenos if they kind of thinned out a little bit and expanded beyond a little kind of like, um, kind of like shrivelly little nub that jalapenos often seem to be. And we will put half an ounce on there. Oh, did you want to smell the Fresno? I didn't even ask. If, you, if you'd like to. And then we will put the Serrano on there. Hmm. I don't know actually has, or, yeah, sorry, Fresno actually has a milder. Yeah, it's a it's a milder aroma. It's almost, almost sweet, maybe in a way. The Serrano goes in next. Serrano. Serrano Eau de, Eau de Serrano. That's actually got a little bit of a smoke to it. I do, yeah, I like that one. That one, that one was, it was also like kind of olive briny, but like, Actually, I smelled it better when it was coming from the container. What do you smell like? That's like... I think that one smells the most like alcohol than uh, um, the other ones that I've had so far. But Habanero. Habanero, clocking in at anywhere between 150,000 to 575,000. Basically, half a million Scoville units. The Habanero, it has a nice nice orange color to it and it has imparted a bit of that orangeness to the liquor on the inside as well we're gonna put another ounce of that into our little super pepper i don't even know what we're calling it anymore super pepper smash Poop, super super special hey super pepper smash put it all together habanero i feel like sometimes the spice is kind of what gets you nice. that's a that's nice that's actually very pleasant. I'd like I'd like burn a candle with that smell. <laughs> it's almost citrusy. It kind of smells like mango. And I don't know if it's just the orange that's throwing me off there, but it is kind of like mango-like. That is interesting. And then our honorable mention of the evening, I suppose. It was a Carolina Reaper vodka. Oh, it's right literally right literally right in front of me. Oh, oh. That sound effect in there. It's a nice cool. That's a nice pop. And this one. Carolina Reaper peppers actually clock in anywhere between 1.5 million to 2 million Scoville units. Um, so far, this Carolina Reaper vodka from Charleston Distillery has actually been a little bit let down because it sports the Carolina Reaper pepper visage on the front of the bottle and made me think that perhaps it was going to just completely blow out of the water all of these other tinctures. But evidently, you just can't beat fresh. And if you can freshly infuse your peppers, that's the way to do it. 
So now what we have in this container here, the total liquid color is somewhere around like a kind of a yellowish, brownish color there. Kind of looks kind of looks like I didn't drink enough water today. All things considered. There's also a bit of a green hue to it too. I want to get that checked out. Oh! Mm, it's kind of potent. It's got a really potent smell to it. I don't really know how to describe that. Layer sinuses? For the most part, yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely feel that there. Disney Queen says, Dear Cameron, please take care of dinner at Leftovers. Notes took super long tonight, so I will now be going to bed. Dear friends, with an X, of the bar with an X, thank you for joining. It was super fun to hear y'all and see y'all have fun and burning your mouths and being ripped off by the ghost pepper. Enjoy your evening and safe returns. That was a message from our lovely Disney Queen, who is off to bed. Thank she has her clinic for tomorrow. We love you, dearest. Light taps <laughs> on the floor for you. Okay, bye, dearest. Love you. She loves me too, it's great. Time to kill ourselves, metaphorically speaking. So now, what we'll do is this particular libation here, I'm gonna take, hopefully, a strainer. Do we have a strainer available? We did. Mmm, did I put it- There's one over here in Ooh, the, uh... I have a julep strainer, we will use that. To kind of strain over top of these cordial glass. There is absolutely no pressure to finish this whole thing off. However, I guess we can see how far we can get with it. I will fill up two of these cordial glasses. Not to the brim brim. But the super, super duper pepper smash with this julep strainer. I will put the rest of this off to the side in case anybody is brave enough to go at it again. Just a, bit, a little bit of a... This is what we have here. We have two containers that sport within them the flavors pains all the souls and memories i don't know i'm like channeling hopes the spirits here the hopes and dreams of every day every pepper that went into it how do you feel i have no idea to be honest i honestly don't know exactly what i'm getting myself into here but like, I was I was mentally prepared for 1.5 to 2 million Scoville units today with the Carolina Reaper. And I was like, I was like, I mentally prepared myself for it. And as we worked up to it, I was really thinking that I would be able to really conquer that Scoville unit mark there. And I don't know exactly how Scoville units work together. Like if you combine them together, if they're additive or they wind up averaging out somewhere. I don't really know. It probably is a maximum. Shots, shots, shots. Everybody, only if we feel comfortable to, I'm gonna push this off to the side. As, as those who are, I guess, more, more drinky than I am, or perhaps even less. Cheers? Good luck? Have fun? I'm gonna take a little sip first. Godspeed. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. Are you okay? Yeah. I think I can do it. I think I think I can do it. I'm gonna go for it. Don't feel like you have to follow me. <laughs> I have pineapple. I have pineapple juice on the ready. ready. I have I have water. Sesame ready. Sesame ready. <clears throat> we also have a bucket. We also have the bucket. In front of you, under my phone. Square. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, what is it? Spicy. Spirits. Stream. Ow. Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh, I felt the burp. Okay. Ooh. I feel it in my nose and in my throat. Oh, in the back of my mouth. Ooh, it's in the back of my mouth. Okay. In the water. Yes. Yes. I'm good. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Damn, do you need them? Never. I just need water. That's all I need. Ooh. It's actually not that good for putting out the heat, right? Oh my god. What's that? Water? Water is not But it hydrates me. It makes it worse? It carries the spice further down. Yeah. I can feel the spice in my throat. <laughs> Ooh. I'm tearing. Man, I can totally do that again. Wow. That wasn't bad at all. This is just about as bad as it gets at IHOP. <clears throat> no, actually, I'm feeling other effects now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> actually, it's getting worse. Is it worse than IHOP? Oh my goodness, it's even worse than IHOP. 
That's like Trick I have on service. Trick your nose, not your mouth. Do it again, again. No! <laughs> I don't know if no, I should. Ooh, do it again, again, again. Oh my god. I'm going to die on live TV. Oh aren't I? my god. So, when I get TV. spicy stuff in my body, I start uncontrollably salivating, and I know that's not what I'm here to do. However, if I open my mouth right now and turn my head over, it's just gonna pour <laughs> out <laughs> saliva. <laughs> Bruh. Most of the effort is keeping the saliva down in please, my mouth. Please don't just drool yourself on screen. Oh my goodness! I will not, dude. You know, if what is it? Bella Delphine can sell bath water. Maybe I can sell streamer saliva. Is that how that originated? Oh my god! No, I can't do it. Correct, you can't sell <sighs> the saliva. My eyebrows. I'm Don't actually. Sell gamers I'm actually really happy. I'm really happy that we got to experience something collectively. Do What's you need that? eye drops or any water, like water for your eyes? Oh, trust me, I'm creating plenty on my own. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Does anyone oh need goodness. half and half? Never. Uh, I'm actually kind of recovering from uh, this. Okay, okay. It's coming through my teeth. I'm stepping. I'm stepping back from the spice. I'm stepping back from the from the liveness of it all. All right, it's not that bad. It's coming through my tears. What the heck? I did feel it in my tears. There was a spice that existed throughout my entire esophageal tract is on fire. My lungs. I can feel it here in my lungs. The air. It's in there. The roof of my mouth burns. Uh, 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 my tongue burns. Ali, Ali. Water, 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 no, water. Uh, Mascara game. Oh, I get you. I get you. This is why we use waterproof. This is true. Waterproof mascara is always a good uh, choice. Uh, I haven't painted uh, my nails in a while. I could do that. Whew. Wow, that was intense. Like that circus fire. Yeah. Uh, intense. Oh. It was intense. Yeah, it was, it was just fun. It was just fun. I'm actually, I actually kind of, I actually kind of want to do it again. I kind of want to do it again. Oh, okay, we doing this? You want to go? Because I want to see if I can get any flavor notes, because I was not paying attention to what it tasted like. This time we sip it, not shoot it. We can use the whiskey notes that I, that I learned. I learned that when you are sipping whiskey, you let out the air first, through your nose. You don't want to breathe in through your mouth, uh -huh. I think, when you do it. Oh, we have more. Oh, we have? Oh, yes, there was more. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> again, again, again. Only because you forced me to do so. Now I'm doing Since this. Since you asked right? so nicely. Since you asked so nicely. Why not? We're gonna do it like real sommeliers. We're gonna do it like we're trying to pick out the individual notes. We're gonna see what kind of flower notes we get, citrus notes, smoky earthy notes. That's what it's all about. Because really, if we can't learn Why about you know that both the flavors, give me like a tinge more. <laughs> I am not doing that on purpose. Would you like to switch? Do you feel? Do you feel that? You know, no. I'm gonna take. Yeah. I... We'll do it. Okay. So here's, here's two of the sommeliers out there, ones who really appreciate the flavor. We've got a nice hay hue to it. I'm seeing some particulates in there. I see fingerprints on the glass. I see some notes of stalling as well. I don't know where that's coming from though. Probably some past childhood trauma. There's definitely a seed at the bottom of that. Let's get- Doubt perhaps? How about we get a view of that, hmm? What, is it, what does it look like, hmm? Do you see the seed in there? You see, do you see the seed? Do you see this hay-like color there? Can you see the hints, hints of stalling? I think I'm smelling hints of stalling. Take a sip. There's a small... There is actually a sweetness there. It's actually kind of sweet. <laughs> like, like, the first thing that I get is sweet. And I want to say it's the same sweetness that I got from the Carolina Reaper vodka, which again, doesn't really taste too much like pepper. It's like kind of like a, a Swedish thing there. It's not Swedish, not like Sweden, sweet-ish. And that's, that's all right. What happens next on my tongue is it kind of emanates backwards, naturally. The spice starts in the front and emanates outwards. I think the more that I breathe, the more the spice really emanates to the rest of my nostrils and like literally everywhere. And now I think, 
there's like a piece of adrenaline or something going on where I'm like, yeah. Would you like a tissue, by the way? Oh, okay. Yes. I have tissues over there as well. I can go grab it because I'm feeling really, really sniffly as well. Um, hold on. Jasper, if you will. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Tissues are right over there. Thank you kindly so much. Careful, stand in front of the screen. I'll take, I'll take one as well, actually. Yeah, I'll, take, I'll, just, I'll take a I'll few of them. These I'll off. take a few of them, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll take that. We'll take that. Let's take a box. Are you? Nazi. Prego. Oh, my goodness. Well, not, but I'm glad that I'm not the only person. Like, I tend to, I tend to like really just pull up on my stuff in my nose because I feel really insecure about blowing my nose and stuff because of my acid reflux. But if the time calls for it, <laughs> better to do it with friends than alone. Yes. Oh my goodness. Huh? My nose. Taking oh. a little bit of stuff. Oh dear. Everything okay over there? My nose is bleeding a little. Just a little bit? <laughs> Just a little bit? Are you are you okay to continue? You don't have to feel like you oh, have Oh no, to. it's a winter thing. That's a winter thing? Perfect. Per oh, winter. Winter, because it is winter. Did you say winter or winter? Winter. winter. Yeah, it is the season. Tis the season to be jolly. Oh. -la 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 -la. Peppers in your mouth. I'm gonna take another sip of this. It's all pepper. I can smell it from here. I think <laughs> what I'm tasting is jalapeno. I want to say, of all the peppers in there, the spice, like the bulk of the spice, is coming from that all around, mouth encompassing habanero pepper. <laughs> But the flavor, I think, is coming from the jalapeno pepper. I think, jala at least that's what I can most recognize. I know what a jalapeno pepper tastes like. I don't know what a habanero pepper feels like. But today, I felt like I got that. And I feel it. I do. There is a high pepper to uh, liquid ratio in there my is. jar. Indeed. Right Indeed. And to be fair, if there's other notes being imparted by the Fresno or the Serrano... I don't know what they are. I don't really know what they are. Mostly because I'm not familiar with those peppers. This could very well be motivation to try more Serrano, try more Fresno peppers, put them into my meals, cup them up a bit. Oftentimes what Anna will do is she'll take a lot of chili flakes and put them into the food. And it's usually too spicy, but I bet if we cook some jalapenos, it'll be better. I think that's all I can do. I think that's all the tasting I can do. The only thing left is one more final hurrah. Spicy. Owie. Spirits. Stream. <laughs> Success. And you still have the non-alcoholic stuff to go. Yeah. Uh, all right, we need to get it. Uh, Hi, you're not summon. done yet. <laughs> you're being summoned? See, that's the best part is, you thought you were done. <laughs> you're about to walk out of the ring, but I'm just like, N get I over here. Win. For all the folks who don't do alcohol, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay? It's going to be okay. Because we have some non-alcoholic versions yeah. of the spicy pepper stream for you as well. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Some spicy. Can you fill me up on water, please? I got you, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> because I feel like it's warranted. Here's a view of my face. Dude. Yeah, up close. Yeah. Oh, this. Oh yes, the sesame. Dude. Hi everybody. Ooh. I've been paid. And this is why I opted out. I'm kind of been paid. We also have bread if you need it. Bread is probably good too. And half and half. And milk. Do you have ice cream? We'll eat, we'll eat your ice cream. Oh, who mentioned ice cream? I just did. I don't have any ice cream. Well, because uh, uh, I was going to say, if you guys I think Anna's got some sherbet downstairs. I'm going to think of it. Bread. Ooh, bread. Oh, bread. Oh. Does anyone need another bun? Mm. Well, I, I haven't had anything spicy yet. Like a like the big the big slam. Oh my god, are you okay? The bread is so good. Oh my god. 
Sounds like you're crying over <laughs> bread. Sesame beans are so good. My mouth is on fire. <laughs> my tongue. Oh, actually. The bread's making it worse. I take my. I think the yeah, bread's actually cool. making it I worse. Make sure I have water. The orange helps. Oh my god, the orange helps. Mm -hmm. I take your word for it. I need to get back around because mm -hmm. I need my own water cup. Oh my god. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. ah, ah. My body is processing. My body is rebelling. Owie. I can feel my stomach now being like, what the fuck did you just put in me? <laughs> Why the hell did you do this to me? <laughs> okay. okay, I'm gonna put my cup right there. Okay, okay, okay. For those who braved the spicy pepper super pepper oh. super pepper smash i keep forgetting what it's called the super oh. pepper smash the sps right now on the current recipe board again i keep forgetting that that's a thing <laughs> <laughs> this ain't ranch water no it hasn't been ranch water for a long time oh. i'm still getting used to having this here i only put it up like um was it beginning of the year super pepper It's called the smash, not the challenge! Yeah, it's called the smash. Oh my god! I can't even remember what we're doing over here. Uh, we're gonna make some... Is it the spice? Is it the alcohol? I'm not exactly sure. Could be a little bit of everything. We have to add all of the peppers to the non-alcoholic components as well. Oh, is this because the new mixing glass? We have a new mixing glass here, a totally virgin mixing glass, never been touched by anybody! It's no longer a virgin. It's soiled. Here, take. A full ounce of the Fresno pepper. I've never lemonade. had Fresno before. Like, fr I agree with you that Fresno and Serrano, those are like the two that I'm not familiar How with. How does it smell, dog? Kind of like cleaner. Yeah, that smells kind of like cleaner, I but like that. peppery cleaner. It's kind of like pepper cleaner. I get that. I get that. Mm. Oh, let's cap that up. There we go. Can you, uh, tap the, uh, I'll put this on the side. Want me? To okay. Oh, hold on. Oh my god. Are you okay? Oh, my reflux is painful. <laughs> Feel that? Jalapeno aid. Jalapeno aid, Jalapeno which was pretty aid. good, pretty which good. Which was pretty good. That's a popular. That's a that's a that's a that's a fan favorite. Well, I mean, also it's a common pepper, so. I feel if you need the bucket, don't be afraid to use the bucket! <laughs> oh no, that was just a burp on my end. <coughs> I, think you're, I, think I you're, got pepper on the back. I think he's partially telling that to himself. Oh my god. Do you need another piece of bread? Do you need the bucket? I will be okay. I just kind of threw up a little in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> however, however. I got you. I have never had... Acid reflux burns, you know? Yeah. It doesn't spice burn. It came up and all I felt was just... Pain. Oh. Actually, wait, wait. I don't usually do this. I have, um, I have a little pill bottle over oh. on my desk. Yeah, I see it. With something called a medication called omeprazole. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Right. I'm gonna take that. This is my acid reflux medication. <laughs> I take it upon need and need alone. And I think this is the first time I've needed this on stream. <laughs> The stream has broken you to the point where you need your meds. I thought that I had conquered the peppers, but the peppers truly have conquered me. All right, get over there. Thank you for you serving miss. me. That's my Omepi pills. Okay. We did the jalapeno aid, right? Yes. Okay. Jalapeno. We have the habanero. Habanero aid. This was spicy. Holy this crap. is literally the entire kick. I think all of the kick is coming from the habaneros. Seriously, though. Like, I wouldn't be surprised because they are the strongest pepper. Oh my goodness. All right. And now, the last one, the Serrano pepper. The Serrano aid. Another yet mostly unexplored pepper. In I dare pepper someone collection. else to eat one because, like, when I chewed one or like that thing, like, that thing just came in. Well, it's spicier than the jalapenos. It, it came in like a freaking ninja. Like, I was just like, oh, nom, 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 nom. And it just went, wham! Just totally out of left field. Super! Non-alcoholic pepper, pepper smash. smash.
not the challenge, the smash. Yeah. Now, do we want to put the Reaper in there? Oh. No. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep it virgin. So are we going to mix this with Keep it up? virgin. Keep it a virgin super pepper smash. So the super virgin pepper smash. The super virgin pepper smash. Or perhaps is it the super virgins that we're doing it, or the super peppers that are the virgin? Virgin peppers? Super virgin pepper oh smash. God. What would define... Another one-eyed, one-horned, blind, purple people eater dilemma. What, one what defines one a virgin purple pepper? People eater. I didn't say that right. What's that? What defines a virgin pepper? A virgin pepper? Yeah. I feel like it's a pepper. Pepper without the spice. It's like it's like a habanero pepper, but all the spice has been removed. So a bell pepper. Yeah, I was gonna say like a bell pepper. But like that's that not sounds habanero. like the opposite. Though. I guess, yeah, kinda. Hmm. Well, a virgin pepper is without the. Uh, a virgin pepper is one which cannot produce seed because it cannot engage in any sort of meiosis or sexual activity. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna take the super virgin pepper smash. Yep. Which glass is and mine? put it into? Um, you had one. I had the big it's one. With the big one? Want to use the big one? I mean, I could use the big we one. We can use the big one. I don't remember. It's kind of sticky, and we didn't wash it. You want to give it a wash? We can give it a wash if we want to. Sure. Yeah. Just kind of just put a little water in it, and then I'll uh, I'll rub it out for you. Here, man. Let me let me Are you okay? toss it into the bucket. Toss it in the bucket and let me rub it out for you. No. Is everyone recovering okay over on the other side of the bar? I'm fine. Someone's not recovering at all because she doesn't need to. My stomach now feels like it's on fire, so we'll see what happens. All right. Well, well, you know, start a fire in that's how you start a fire in my heart. That's uh, how you, my that's heart, how you... my stomach, my throat, my eyes, and everything else. Bro, you're gonna be crapping fire tomorrow morning. Oh my god, I didn't even consider the repercussions. <laughs> Was that a fire? <laughs> I no. I did not even consider what the repercussions were going to be. Oh shit. You're literally gonna be crap. <laughs> You're gonna be crap. I'm getting hot right? under the collar now from anxiety. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night being like, no! <laughs> You're gonna text me at like 3 a.m. and be like, why oh does it my hurt so God. bad? Like, you, you, you signed the okay. contract. Okay. okay. Damn. Get without strainer. Glenn? Yes. Just just say when. Just say when you're satisfied. Glenn! I'll take. Glenn, what the fuck? <laughs> Pull if you want. I guess to be to be fair, I'm the one who's reeling because I've already done two of these things. Yeah, you, and now you're doing it. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna dump that in your water. Oh like, my oh, god, oh, no! Like... I am not ruining. Uh, this was what the mojito thing. I'm, I'm not really into it, so I'm not gonna continue. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! I, I need, need some, some help, help right, now. right now. Do you need me to relieve you of some of that? No. Okay. Never. Well, this can't be Cameron with the Nexus bar with the Nexus without some super metal pepper virgins smashing or whatever it was this was called. The super pepper smash. Super virgin. There was a virgin in there somewhere. Now we just add super that like five. Super virgin smash. Super Robot okay, Monkey Team Hyperforce Go. Super Robot Monkey, Monkey Team Hyperforce Go. God. That's all I remember from that. Yeah. Well. So, shall we go for like a sip first and then just chug it down? I think we okay. should. I think we should. Let's uh, sip and see if we can Super break it down. Super pepper smash. Hmm. That's like kind of a refreshing lemonade. <laughs> I'm not it's gonna- not bad at all. I'm not gonna lie, that's like a refreshing lemonade uh, with like a burn that actually, afterwards. That was actually pretty good. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That was- not bad. That was palatable. Yeah. That was okay. Do so, it again. Yeah, another sip. You, another sip. Go, I'm going for it. Oh, you're going for it. I'm hot and freaking let's do confident it. as hell right now. Oh, let's do it. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. Sorry, Mar. That was really nice, actually. One. Good. Yeah. It's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Wow. I so between be the two, which one was your favorite? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> um. There it is. <laughs> well, if I had to pick a favorite of all things, yeah, this was everything we brewed today. You brewed today. What? Well, this was okay. I think hmm. the lemonade is actually really good. It is honestly, no, like honestly, taking the peppers 
and infusing them in the lemonade. That was that was more or less so. Glenn doesn't drink alcohol. He's very very sensitive to the taste. So we we're trying like to come it. up with like the ink. best way to take the peppers and put them in the way that we can all enjoy. And the question was either infuse it in milk, <laughs> oh god, or infuse it in lemonade. And I was like, I, I'm not, I'm down for the lemonade. And actually, what I did was so the tiny little lemonades, the li the limons, they were all grown by one of my aunts actually. Oh. And so I made the lemonade out of them. So it's actually it's not your it's not your average lemonade. This is what? a very, very special lemonade. Yeah, it was good. It's, it's good, too. It's a spicy special lemonade. Like Spicy spicy spirit special lemonade. Like, I would drink these again. No lie. Really, though? Okay, I will say with, in terms of spice, now I'm feeling it in my stomach. I'm feeling it as well. And now it feels like, oh, I boy. Feel it as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, wow. This has been... Okay, let me let me think about it. What did we do so far? We made we made one called the ego. Yes, that and was that had oh my god, that had some of the habanero tincture in it. The main component of that, um, I need to go back and look at my recipes because I honestly can't remember what it was um, that we that we did there. Um, I know we covered quite a few things so far, and what I'll do is I'll wind up probably over the course of the next couple of days, I apparently have to recover first, post all the recipes in the Discord server. I'll put up a thread there of the spicy spirit streams itinerary, I suppose. So you can create these wonderfully devilish libations for yourself at home. And I'll also put it in the description of the VOD that comes out on YouTube, but it's just a yeah. channel, so don't even worry about it. But if that's where you want to look for it, that's where you'll find it. We've covered a couple of cocktails so far. We did one called the Pineapple Express, that which was, was how we realized that the Carolina Reaper vodka really wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Yeah, because It's that more was so the on the vodka and the pepper than the Carolina or the actually it's more so on the Carolina and the pepper than it is on the Reaper and vodka. Mm. I would say. You also did the um, what was it? Your own version of the Matador. We did our own version of the Matador. Because that was the one that of, I had to try and break. That down. we kind of modified a little bit. So what we did is we tried to we kind of challenged Glenn to see whether or not he could figure out all of the components in the Matador, which called for a couple of different things. There were various of the pepper tinctures in there. We had some bell pepper. Uh, we had some Fresno pepper rings at the bottom. Some can puree in there as well and we rimmed the glass with tahine i believe which is a very it's like a spicy salty lemon salt type thing and that was pretty good it was indeed like Again, I think like the only thing I really couldn't get was the cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. But the cantaloupe was interesting. Like I specifically went to the store and bought a whole cantaloupe and juiced the hell and pureed that thing, and it was really really thick. I think I'd probably have to put it through like a strainer, mm -hmm. um, which I didn't, which I didn't actually do. Mm -hmm. um, so I probably should have done that um, to make it a little less less viscous. But alas, we learn for next time. Mm -hmm. um, we also did. Let's see, we did the matador. We did the ego as well. The ego at first, I think it was the first cocktail that we did. Um, and we used, um, instead of mezcal, we used the jalapeno vodka, I believe. And we mixed that with chili liqueur and some honey turmeric syrup. That had a nice dry, like, balanced, um, balanced sweetness to it. And we also, there was also orange juice in there as well, but for some reason it was, um, crossed out on my screen. The honey, oh. the honey and turmeric, the honey syrup in there made it very, very sweet. And the jalapeno gelled really, really well with that. The turmeric made it kind of, kind of dry, mm -hmm. I would say. But it was, it was good. I think... I think that one was probably my favorite. Huh. Okay. I really did like that because it, it like it was a nice intro of like things can be spicy, things can be approachable, things can be palatable, even though it's like spicy as all hell. Lard pot of pound comes in here with what looks like a comfy, comfy bit of sympathy. Yeah. I appreciate that. We comfy have just penguin. basically eviscerated. I'm a, I mean, I guess supposedly in the next few hours, my entire gastrointestinal tract is going to be completely eviscerated. My yeah. throat is on fire still. It's recovering. My stomach feels very warm. My stomach does feel warm. Like it's true. If there's a nice warmness there. I mean, like this, is, like, this warms you up in the winter. Yeah, no. Does. Like I was about to say, like it almost feels like you just di like I just downed like a big old mug of like hot cocoa. Absolutely. Except it's, I know it's not from it's temperature not, it's heat. Not temperature. It's from peppers. It's pepper heat. Absolutely. So yeah, we're gonna be crapping fire later. It'll be great. So that's more or less our cocktail roundup. I'm going to ask for a little bit of assistance as we clear off the bar, mostly to make space so that everybody can pop on here for our final goodbyes. Yep. This has been really, really cool. This, look, we'll take the things over here, take the glasses away, put them on the table, we'll clean them up afterwards. I will take I will take priority on that. Oh my goodness, and put everything off to the side for everything do, else that we I have here. I do like the, the lemonades, though. These are really good. You did a really good job on them. Thank you. Well, it was all your idea. I can't take any credit for that. 
Oh my goodness, nice Sorry, water. Sorry, I'm a gassy boy. Put this out of the way, put this oh. water over here. Make sure to stay sane and safe, everybody. Yeah. Okie dokie. And I have a question for you. Ooh, I hope they have an answer. If I was able to get my hands on some actual Carolina Reapers. Spicy Spirit Stream Part 2? Spicy Spirit Stream Part 2. Ooh, Carolina Reaper Lemonade. Carolina Reaper Lemonade. Ooh. Or more peppers entirely. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll get everybody... We can get our hands on. We'll get everybody swishing on in here. Tonight's was... The Spicy Spirit Stream. Well, the goal was to conquer the Carolina Reaper Pepper. And we did. Yeah. So well. That it barely tasted like a pepper at all, mostly because the Carolina Distil Charleston Distillery Carolina Reaper is not a vodka's really not that spicy at all. But we did officially conquer the jalapeno pepper, the serrano pepper, the Fresno pepper, and the habanero pepper, all in infused with vodka as well as infused with some lemonade that we made. I made it yesterday, so it's it's fresh. It's as fresh as it possibly can be. We covered one. a couple of cocktails as well, and we had a couple of guests. We had a couple of guests as well. Mm -hmm. I. In camera, as per the usual. I need no introduction. This I, is uh, go for it. I am Lycosaur. Uh, I stream now and then, but you mainly find me on YouTube. Just search Lycosaur into the search bar, you'll find me. Recently, Glenn has been going through a series called Tome. It stands for T O M E, the terrain of magical expertise. Mm -hmm. It's also a web a web series. Yes, it was a web series done by uh, Chris Neosi. You can just search like Tome, and it, it will probably be like one of the first things that comes up. But if you're looking for the game specifically, you'll want to search like terrain of magical expertise. Absolutely. And hey, you might. Even even see my videos on it because I've been covering it mm -hmm. and we're a good portion through the way and Absolutely, I, I've been enjoying the game it's a if you like the series I recommend it because like it is a blast to play like although like the character voices are different like they captured the characters very well and also just side note you don't need to know tone like you don't need to know the web series to enjoy the game it's just like the same characters, alternate universe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and I'll say, and I'll say as well that Glenn does a really excellent job of going through the games. It's not the perfect game out there, but he really looks for the positivity in like all the games that he plays. I think, I think, I think he's playing another game next. Yeah, I, I, I do have some other things in the works. I am planning on doing. <laughs> Sonic 06. He always finds the positivity aspect. I've had the game for years and I want to play it. no explanation. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. It'll and be great. Hey, if you want to check it out, check it out. It'll be fun. Absolutely. Hopefully. Absolutely. He will also be tagged in the video as well. He also exists in the Discord like we all do. We all yeah. hang, we all hang in the Discord. Yeah. Moving on, though, to the beautiful partner of Lyco Slow over here. Corrupted Jasper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, if you see him on stream, you may sometimes see me in the back. Uh, usually making sure that he doesn't get into too many hijinks. Mm. And sometimes encouraging. Corrupted Jasper, a.k.a. Kirsten, is kind of my go-to when it comes to talking about wine stuff. She's kind of like the wine aficionado in my life, mostly when it comes to the sweet stuff. I haven't yet to find anybody who I can really vibe with on, like, really, really dry stuff and whatnot. That but have you been exploring? This one. Well, look at that. It needs no introduction. Or, you know what? Segway. It absolutely does. Segway. Wonderful segue. That's what I meant. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Amy Chow. Uh, um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, That's okay, no problem. Like I said I, I don't really have any videos, but like, I, I did bugger this one on Mario Party once, and I do That's right. pop around streams. I'm on the Discord. Amy Chow is more or less the reason why this stream wasn't just us being disappointed about the Carolina Reaper. Amy Chow and I were kind of messaging back and forth beforehand. She had uh, a couple of cocktail books that she 17. popped on. One was Apothic, which some of our recipes came from. One was something with witchery? Witchcraft was, cocktails. Witchcraft cocktails, which they also came from. And honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have had the idea to go through and make all of these tinctures and lemonades without all of like the, the like the, the, the effort that Yimi Chow had put in and just sharing the recipes around. A lot of the preparatory work was more or less on my part in like acquiring the peppers and stuff, but I wouldn't have even had the idea to get the stream where it was today without Yimi Chow's help. So it's greatly appreciated. Yeah. That's yeah. all folks. That's all we have today. This has been really, really cool. I think Absolutely. it's. I That's think bartending, fun. personally speaking, is more fun to do together. If I'm trying to get more occasions of just more people on the stream. Ever since Thankmas happened and we had a bunch of people here, I was just like, I was like, man, this was super freaking fun. And mm -hmm. if I'm the one that's pestering people in their DMs, they'll Hi. eventually come over yeah. and be able to represent them and then be able to just, just overall have some fun. And I think this was rather fun. Yeah. 
Come yep. on. It was all good. In any case, to everybody out there, young or old, if you're young, we did alcohol. Please don't don't drink alcohol. Um, but no matter who everybody else is out there, um, uh, hi, hi everybody. Oh. We're all in the circle now. Hi. hi. Gather in on a circle. Hang on, I need to scooch oh, this way. Scooch so in, scooch in. I'm, I'm small, I'm small. Oh god. We're all scooching in over ah. here. No, I'm Come not here. Come I'm here. Not here. I'm okay. Thank you everybody so much. We very much enjoy your company. Tune us in again next week, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesdays here on Twitch. Yeah. Where we stream yeah. cocktails. Drink with friends sometimes. Drink don't drink and drive. Please drink responsibly. Don't yep. drink and drive. Just just don't do it. It's not smart. Dude, drink and vibe. Drink and vibe. Move. Seriously. Get a DD. In any case, to everyone out there, if the moon is shining where you are, I'm sure it's probably nighttime, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. If the sun is shining, may you have a wonderful rest of your morning, twilight, dawn, midnight, wherever you may be. Good vibes, y'all. Bye. 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 Oh, God. Can't even see me.